Hello, everybody, and welcome to the GDQ Hotfix on this wonderful Wednesday evening. This is Challenger Approaching, the show all about challenge runs and the runners who perform them. My name is Adef. Joining me tonight on the show is Bird650. Bird, hello, how hello. are you? Hello, hello. It's great to see you, Adef. How are you doing on this wonderful night? You know, I am ready to watch my friend play some video games uh, okay. in a very strange and challenging fashion, is how I would say how I am. And w with that, Bird, would you tell us a little bit about what the people at home are going to see? Sure thing. Um, well, hello, everybody. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing an archipelago. Um, and what that means is I'm playing multiple games at one time, in this case, Mario 64 and Minecraft. Uh, and the interesting thing is that they're gonna be randomized. And I'll go more in detail about how it works on each game, but basically the items are shuffled about both games. So when I collect a power star in Mario 64, it could be a power star there, it could be a one-up, it could be something else, or it could be an item in Minecraft that unlocks for me like better uh, pickaxe, uh, Weapon upgrades, things like that, and vice versa. But I'll get more in detail once we get rolling here. Sweet. I mean, I'm really excited. Archipelagos have sort of taken the speedrunning community by storm over the past couple of months. Uh, and I'm just, I'm excited to see it here. If you're ready, we can get started. Sweet. Um, sure. I'll do a countdown here. It looks like everything's good on my end. So sure. without further ado, uh, three, two, one, go. All right. So... At, right away, you see that I have started Mario 64 and Minecraft at the same time. I'm going to see what I can do in Minecraft here uh, while the intro is loading. Um, so you'll see in Minecraft, uh, at the top, there's 40 advancements. Now, in the game, there's, I think, 114 total advancements. But those are kind of like your achievements. And every time you do an advancement, it unlocks an item, uh, one of the randomized items. Now, you might be thinking, well, how do you randomize Minecraft, right? Uh, it's really unlocking recipes and stuff. So I can only build, uh, like, wooden tools at the moment until I get, like, progressive tools as an upgrade or something like that. Um, there's also certain recipes for making a bed, uh, all that kind of good stuff. So I'm currently trying to slot my time here so I can make a couple things. As you see, I already have a power star in Mario. We're going to start playing Mario in a second. I'm just going to make a tool pickaxe here. And... Progressive resource crafting, which is pretty good. That means I think I can cook now. Yes. Okay. So I already have two power stars in Mario. How'd that happen? Well, I got a few advancements in Minecraft. Uh, as you see, the tracker is th at three right now. And two of those happen to be power stars. One of them was progressive resource crafting, which means I can now build a, uh, a furnace. That's actually a really huge one to have early on. So that way I can actually cook. Um... So there's a lot of things in Minecraft that you can't make without unlocking the proper recipe. Um, but for right now, we are on Mario. And now, as you see, we jumped into B.O.B. and we're not in B.O.B. actually. We are in Wedge Dry World. This is part of the randomizer here for Mario. All the levels are all shuffled about. Um, the items within the levels are in the same place. But you still need to find unlocks. Oh, that was perfect, by the way. Um, you still need to find unlocks, though. So. That would be like enough power stars for the requirement to unlock a door. Um, as you see there, I just got a power star, so that was a vanilla spawn. Great. Oh, you got it but, from Bird650? That's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty sick. I hope uh, he's playing the game well. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but um, essentially, each game has their own requirements as well to beating them. Uh, for Mario 64, it would be getting 70 stars, uh, but also getting the upstairs basement key. So that is shuffled into the pool. So I can't actually go anywhere else in the castle without those, like, um, those keys. So even if I beat Bowser and grab the key there, that's an item check. It could be a power star. It could be something for Minecraft. We'll find out once we get there. But I was going to mention brewing is the one thing we need for Minecraft, and I literally just got it. So that's actually amazing. Um... So each game has their own essential thing that you need to find. Uh, in Mario 64, it's the upstairs key and 70 stars. In Minecraft, it's basically brewing. Brewing allows you to get um, the recipe for making the Eyes of Ender, which help you find the stronghold, and then you can basically beat the game from there. Um, but you still need to get your 40 advancements, which that's all shuffled and randomized. Um, structures that you normally find in Minecraft are all, like, randomized, so 
villages could be in the nether, you could have fortresses spawn in the overworld, and cities in the overworld. So I'm, that's the one I'm a little bit more afraid of, because I don't know where my fortress is, and it might be a little tough. Um, but we're off to a good start. We got brewing, that's great. Uh, we're getting a few power stars, that's also great. Um, I guess I should also mention the things randomized in the Mario 64. Progressive tools, I can make stone tools now, so that's great. Um, things to mention in the Mario 64 randomizer that are checks. Um, we have keys, we have power stars, uh, the pink bub bombs those are actual item checks as well, so you have to find your cannon unlocks if you need to use them. Um, I, did I mention one-up boxes themselves? So you have to try to know which box is a one-up, and that's an item check. Um, and cap switches, those are also checks. So. Do you know if there is any, if there, if there are any plans to implement the more advanced things as seen in the SM64 randomizer into this, you know, program? Uh, yes, actually. They are actively working, and I think it's in a beta right now, for a moveset rando. So you would only be able to start with walking and jumping. Not a double jump. Not a triple jump, long jump or anything. You literally can only walk and jump. And you'd have to find your moves later on, basically. What about like random star placement? Uh, I don't know if they're gonna work with that. Um, I guess it's kind of, of antithetical to like the purpose of the... Yeah, I, I mean, the one thing I like in comparison to the other rando is the fact that you get spit out of the same painting that you jumped into, because otherwise you just can go anywhere without any requirements. Um, so that's pretty nice that that happens. But I think the randomness of having, like, placement all over the place would be pretty fun, and I hope that gets implemented as well. <clears throat> now, I know there's a few things they have for Minecraft settings. You can, uh, you can do, like... X amount of advancements in general. Um, you could do like 50, 60, 70, whatever you feel like you want to do. I stuck with 40 today just to be safe. Um, you can also do egg shards, which I know you're a big uh, Ocarina of Time person. Um, yeah, like Triforce you know, hunting. Exactly. It's just like Triforce hunting, but you would get shards of the egg uh, to spawn the end dragon. And that's the win condition there is like beating the ender dragon. Mm, interesting. So, okay. Yes. So. That's an option you can have on, um, which I'll probably mess with in the future. But again, safety reasons felt like just being a little basic today. Um, but they're just constantly adding new games to Archipelago. It's fantastic. It's awesome. Yeah, it's very cool and very, very enjoyable. I've only done yeah. like two Archipelagos now, and I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed my time with them. But you should definitely join in when we do more, because it's super fun. As soon as I have free time, I'm so down. Wait, I got a power star there from that one-up box, which is great luck. We already have six stars, so that's really good. Another we one from Bird650 as well. He seems to be sending you a lot, which I think is interesting. Yeah, honestly. Uh, I feel like Bird Minecraft has been kind of slacking a little bit, but yeah. I'm sure he'll wake up and play at some point. I'm a 10-year I'm a tier 3 subscriber to Bird Minecraft, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. I hate Bird650 well, SM64. He sucks. Oh, yeah. uh, I thought he was a nice guy, personally. Like, I, I mean, kind not, of not, not like a comment on his character. I just don't like the stream, so. Oh, that's fair. So, like, just kind of like an okay guy, but terrible stream to be at? Yeah, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't choose to hang out with him personally, so. That's fair. <laughs> Meanwhile, Minecraft <laughs> Bird 650 is a hoot. I mean, he's just, he, that, that guy goes, you know. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Like, I'm, I'm glad that you guys have that relationship. I would say so. I actually, I've, I've heard from uh, Bird650, SM64, that he also doesn't really like you. I mean, that doesn't that's shock me. That doesn't shock me. Yeah. Yeah. It's just weird. I don't know. I mean, I you know, just that's sort of the vibe I got when I hung out with him. Uh, was just that there was sort of a mutual disdain, uh, I would mm. say. Um, but I am shocked just because I feel like I'm on the whole uh, pretty, I feel like it's impossible to dislike me, so... It is impressive. Yeah, I mean, you you seem like a great person. Oh, thank you. Know, this is our you. first time yeah. interacting acting and stuff. Yeah, um, you are Bird Archipelago, which you, I, we've not met. Yes. Uh, sorry for not introducing myself at the beginning of the show. That's my fault. Yeah. But, no. Uh, the, hey, that's what I'm. That I'm supposed to do that. So. Yeah. This is uh, you know, my first time on a hotfix show. I know Bird SM64 has done quite a few, but like, 
the, my first time, you know, I'm incredibly nervous. I've, I've heard so much good so things about nervous. you. So you nervous. Know. God, I'm freaking out right now. I'm like I'm sweating shaking. bullets, bro. Good God. Is it hot in here? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Anyway, uh, yeah, I hope I don't mess up at all. But, uh, <laughs> but, but yeah, that SM64 guy, he just talks a lot of stuff, and it's, it's not fun, you know? Yeah. He's kind of a not a good person. Yeah, I'm looking forward to meeting. Uh, I've heard a lot of things about... This other guy, uh, Bird650 Mario Teaches Typing, supposedly a really cool guy. I'm excited to meet him, so. Mmm. I heard he's kind of a nerd, personally, but that's Yeah, just... but I'm into that, so. Oh! Oh, that's good, then. Yeah. Yeah. You should be fine. Yeah. 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 <laughs> anyway, I just got archery for, uh, for Minecraft Bird, which is great. <laughs> yeah, so what is the, what are the, like, now that you have brewing, what are the, like, desirable things? Um... So, anything that helps with advancements, um, so some of them would be, like, more progressive tools would be fantastic, progressive armor. Um, a shield is nice because not only does it make it easier to just play the game, uh, but also you can, uh, ha there's an advancement tied to the shield itself for blocking and stuff. Um, we just got archery, which is good, because there's a few advancements tied to, um, like, shooting a monster, shooting a, a monster with a crossbow, shooting a pillager with a crossbow. So there's, like, a few att attachments to those. So the, it's not which advancements you get sends things to Mario, it's number of advancements achieved am i understanding so that correctly every every individual advancement is a uh, is an item check that will send something a, a to unique Mario. one yes okay so there's a full list and i could open it up in a second we have some downtime you can see tiktok clock thing here is actually not great because i can't determine if it's fast or not so we're just going to constantly be in a moving clock that's not good um but yeah, I can open up, like, the Advancement tab. You'll see a big list of things that say, hey, uh, this advancement is, like, how to unlock this advancement is you, you go in a boat with a goat and you float. That's an actual advancement, by the way. Mm. Um, and that would send an item either to Minecraft or to Mario. And you can attach as many games to Archipelago as you want. Uh, I do community ones. We've had, like, 20 games at once going, so the check count does get up to, like, 6,000 items, 7,000 items at a time. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, but it's a lot of fun. So. So then what's the... And forgive me for misunderstanding, but oh, uh, what then is the purpose of the advancement counter up to 40? Uh, that provides an additional goal rather than just being like, hey, I have brewing. I'm going to go beat the game right now. Oh, um, okay. So 40 is an additional check. Uh, or it's well, an end state. It's an end state, yeah. It's, a, it's an end goal that you provide. You can do things like, okay, so you either get 40 advancements and beat the dragon, or you can, you can change the number of advancements, advancements and beat the dragon. Or you can also add on beat the wither to that, which is another boss in Minecraft, right? So you can have it be like, okay, this time I want to do 50 advancements as an end goal, as well as beat the dragon and beat the wither. So, yeah, you can kind of just customize that as end goals. Do you have it as and beat the dragon or or beat the dragon? Uh, it's and beat the dragon. Nice. Usually the dragon is like a I would common imagine. thing that you always keep. Yeah. yeah. Are you but a big, in the future... Uh, are you a big Minecraft oh, enjoyer, Bird? Sorry to interrupt you. I, no, no, you're good. I, I do like some Minecraft. It is fun. Uh, I will say I used to run it back in the day, and it's been a, a while, but I just did just kind of relearn it for the purpose of Archipelago. Um, also, casually, it's pretty fun, too, hopping in a server every now and then, you know? Yeah. Every, every, cu every couple of years, I'll go through my little Minecraft phase. Yeah, I feel like that's me with, like, a like a RuneScape or something like that, you know? Every couple of years, you play it again. Oh, that's great. Oh, oh nice. nice. Oh, nice. We saved it, though. Nice we saved it. We saved it. We saved it. Uh, but yeah, Minecraft is one of those things, too. I'll do the same thing. I'll just kind of pop in every now and then and be like, oh, yeah, this game's fun. That's right. So I know the top of the clock here is going to be what I'm going to go for right now because there are two one-up boxes along the way. And we also have a star at the top, of course, so that's good. Ideally, we can get all of those in one life. That's three quick checks. 
see here. So we have one box here. That's four emeralds. Emeralds are okay. Uh, they're useful for one check. Uh, we have an item here as well. That is... Okay, so Mario 64 isn't prepared to have all the letters of the alphabet there. So, um, that actually is supposed to be 50 XP, like experience, but it says 50 OP instead. Um, there's a funny typo with, like, Doom, if you ta uh, tag with Doom, where instead of, like, box of shotgun shells, it'll say, like, boo of shotgun shells. And the, the devs did that on purpose, so that way it's, like, boo's mansion. Kind of it's, like, a little callback to that. It's um, cute. It's cute. It's adorable. It's a good time. Is there no that X in the favorite. SM64 oh. font? Um, I not that I know of. There's a couple letters in specifically that in that specific font they did, just don't exist. So they repeat something. It's super funny. All right, this should be okay. So I actually found the other entrance to Tiny Huge Island, which is weird. So both paintings are randomized. So when we get to Tiny Huge Island upstairs eventually, we'll be able to find like a, uh, a level in either painting. It won't be the same like it usually is in Randomizer. It's a very interesting change that they made. But we have nine stars. That's obviously good. We still need a key to progress further. I'll be playing Mario for a little bit longer, you know, checking out all the lobby stages. Um, and then we'll have to see what the Minecraft world is. Because again, we kind of just hopped into the Minecraft world punched a tree, made a tool, and then stopped playing for now. <laughs> um, that's, that's like all we've done. And I have to have that book open too. So having that little book open will tell you what things you've had like unlocked. So I can't make a bed in the game yet still, it looks like. Uh, there's a bed that it shows right there, but that's actually um, just coloring for a bed. So you can't actually make a bed yet. Beds are really important for the final fight. You said you speedran Minecraft for a bit? Yes. How was that experience? I think it's a really fun experience. Um, I had a good time with it for the amount of time I played. Um, I feel like it was Illumina at like a certain GDQ that really kind of popped up, like broke open the game for people to be like, hey, I want to try this. And it grew in popularity like so much. Um, that's how I got into it. And it's it's really fun. Uh, there's different ways you can run it. Uh, I like random seed glitchless because then it's just basically playing Minecraft. And you learn a lot about how speed generation works, um, like entity counters. So there's like a, a menu you can press on Minecraft. It's an F3 menu. And that brings up a ton of information. And usually casually, you would find it and just look at what your coordinates are so you know where you are in the world and that's about it. But when you look at speedruns for it, you bring up like a huge pie chart that tells you, okay, there's X amount of entities over here. There's also like a spawner over here. So then you think, okay, if there's a spawner that direction, it's probably a fortress. And then you learn about like quadrants within the map. And so it's really interesting. I thought it was as simple as like pick up and play. But once I found that out, I was like, I have to actually study for this. This is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> But it's fun. It's a good time. I feel like, yeah, I, I mean, <clears throat> Set Seed is obviously incredibly impressive. Um, and people that play Set Seed at the high level, like, it's really incredible. But there is something really charming about RSG uh, that just, like, I don't know, it's like, if, you know, if given any semi-fast Minecraft world, can you beat the game quickly? Uh, right. Which I, I find really interesting. Yeah. And I, that's like, I think having a, a set seed kind of thing is fun to grind for a little while for me personally, but I just like the randomness because it's kind of a fresh playthrough. You're not grinding, okay, this specific strat right here, I have to practice over and over again. You're kind of just like, okay, how am I going to handle this randomness that comes through? Right. Um, it's its own randomizer, basically. Um, and it's a lot of resetting, too. If you don't see a village in, like, a minute, it's like, okay, reset, go to the next run. Um, but randomizer here, obviously, is different because we might not ever see a village because it could be in the end, which means we probably won't see it at all. Um, so it's just fun to play different versions of it. Keeps it fresh. Kind of like any randomizer, I guess. Yeah. I have a question for you, Adef. Uh-huh. First off, are you okay? Uh-huh. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> Second off, um, for your archipelago that you've done, mm -hmm. your two you've done, what, what games have you included with that? I did Emerald both times. Okay. Um, I'm trying to remember what the first one was, but it was early in Archipelago's development. Okay. Um, I think with Shen, I can't really remember. Like, it was a, quite a while ago. Um, and I remember it being relatively jank at the time. Uh, mm -hmm. But it has... Oh, you're dead. Yeah, and I unlocked beds for dying. It's pretty great. Because <laughs> that's an advancement, dying. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah. But uh, also, if you can't see the Minecraft screen, uh, Bird just died. Yeah. Um, but uh, <laughs> for the second one with Emerald, it was the it was me and Jay Hobbs uh, versus Spike and Keys. Um, mm, okay. And uh, Jay Hobbs and Spike both played Kingdom Hearts two, and Keys okay. and I played. Yeah. It was fun. Though. I am just learning Emerald now, actually. Oh. So it's quite fun. I want to throw that in the mix. So I'm glad to hear you enjoy it. It's good. It's, I mean, I've played a lot of Pokemon Randomizer in the last three years. Yeah. Uh, a remarkable amount, I would say. Uh, yeah. But Emerald, I, I find quite enjoyable. There's a lot of cool hidden items to memorize. Um, okay. I, like... When Jay Hobbs was setting up the rando, he was like, we can turn hidden items off if you want. I was like, no, I have complete brain rot. I know where every single item is. <laughs> um, Fair. And, uh, but more than that, like, you know, the part about Pokemon randomizers that are interesting to me is like getting a functional main. Um, yeah. And I will say Archipelago, at least the way we ran it with like buffs to how much XP you get from trainers, makes yeah. it a little less interesting to play just because it's like pretty easy um that's fair but you know you can tweak the settings to still make it like a challenge i think that yeah. that is true of most games with archipelago is like it's only as hard as you make it yeah and you can also like tweak the actual progression of items too um like i know for this specific one i have it set to 50 which is kind of just like the medium range but you can lower that number and it's just harder to find progression early on right um so it is like you said it's kind of what you make of it um no, that's awesome i'm excited to learn more emerald it's pretty to it, say the least honestly emerald is one of the games that you just play to learn like yeah Battling experience is just how many battles have you done, and learning the items is just, oh, I got in a run where there was an item and I needed to learn it. Um, yeah. I wouldn't say there's sense. a steep, like, oh, yes, let me review the hidden item maps. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's fair. I think uh, the first one I did, because I just started doing one, I had a, uh, I think it was a Magby that had Eruption as its starting move. Okay. Um, so it was definitely hitting like a truck. That's for sure. Do you mean Magmar, maybe? No, it's Magby, a okay. little baby. A little baby guy. A little baby guy, but it was it was one-shotting a lot of things in the first uh, area, and I was very happy about it. Eruption that. is a very good move. <laughs> it's very good. 150 base power at max HP. Yeah. So uh, that's how mine started, and I, I think the first Pokemon I caught was a Raikou, so it was good. It's a good time. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> In but we're in Rainbow Ride oh, right yeah, right. now, by the way. Um, figured we'd update everyone on what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> um, you'll notice the camera zooms out like crazy when we get out of the level. That's because the game thinks we're jumping out of Rainbow Ride right now. Um, we're not. We're jumping out of BBH, because that's where it is. But it takes oh, a while it, for the camera to zoom back in. Is it putting the camera where Rainbow Ride is? Yes. Relative to the map you are currently on? Correct. So if it was a basement level... Uh, it would probably put the uh, camera way down into the ground and has to slowly uh, rise up. Lakitu's got a lot of work. Yes, for sure. A lot of mileage this run, that's for sure. One of the only games to justify the camera. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, hey, this guy's going to follow you around. Just a heads up. It's like, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I guess there weren't really, you know that many 3D games, let alone 3D platformers at the time. So they were like, oh my God, we got to talk about it. what is happening. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense too, because this is the first N64 game. So yep. like, 
it, I guess that's what they thought. Which they is, were like, well, players are going to be confused about how we can see Mario. Yeah. And now it's just like, yeah, it's fine. I'm sure this works. Yeah, in Mass Effect, there's just you just see. Yeah, it's whatever. No one's going to ask. I am going to attempt to do something wild here. Uh, we're going to play two games at once for just a moment. Um, as this carpet is going, I'm going to attempt to see what we can do in Minecraft. Just on the side. That's another power star. We did get progressive tools, so I want to make sure I can make... Uh, did I die down there? I did. Okay. I want to make sure I can make a thing. How are we looking on Mario right now? Okay, we're looking okay for now. This guy's just vibing. If I make a sword and kill this guy, that's a couple of advancements. I'm going to see if I can do that potentially. That's pearls. Pearls are huge. Need to keep an eye on Mario here. Because I know I have to jump soon. Okay, he's dead. And then I've got to switch over to this. Okay. We're good. So we got uh, three more advancements during that. I think we got two power stars out of that. Uh, and Ender Pearls, which are required to beat the game. You have to change those into the eyes of Ender. Um, which is what brewing is for. Which we already have, thankfully. So... Um, so we got three pearls. That's a good start. Um, we definitely want to get more. That's probably one of the most time-consuming portions of the run. If you don't find your pearl checks, because there's like six of them on this uh, seed that I'm working with. Uh, if you don't find those, you have to kind of farm them. And in this latest version, it's on 1.20. So usually when you run the game, or when I did, it was 1.16.1. And you just piglin trade. But that's been nerfed by a ton. So it's basically finding a warp forest in... The nether and trying to uh find endermen just farm them basically now the other thing that's interesting is we just found a basement key so now if we wanted to we could just play more mario but i know at a certain point i'm going to switch over to just minecraft but it's interesting for the logic to say okay we have basement key which means we probably should go to basement at some point now since we haven't unlocked um but we'll figure that out. Maybe Minecraft early stuff will give us, like, an upstairs key and we don't have to go to basement whatsoever. We'll find out. I don't know. That's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of it. Another day in the SM64 Minecraft mines. <laughs> exactly what I think of every time I do it. Another day, another dollar. Working away once again. <laughs> I've got the black <laughs> lung. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm a union man. <laughs> Getting power stars and pickaxes. <laughs> I just want to see my family again. <laughs> I'm searching for that one eye portal. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's exactly what I think of every time I, sh I play this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a difficult job. Somebody has to do it. Yes. And, you know, I'll take the fall for that. I'll, I'll do that. It's yeah, fine. yeah. Our um, bravest heroes. Yes. Work. Oh, what can I say? The yeah. archipelago department. We just do what we can, you know? Yeah. Keep the people safe. Yeah. Hey. Keep the economy running. You yeah. Know? <laughs> what would we do without you? I don't know. I don't want to think that either, you know? What would we do without bird Minecraft? Huh? Oh, I don't yeah. know. I'm, I'll tell you what we'd do without bird SM64, though. We'd be just fine. You know that meme of, like, the advanced city that's like all yes, yeah. technology. Yeah. <laughs> it, that's life without bird as <laughs> Do you ever think about like maybe like obviously not, but you know, like the the whole like branching universe question of like uh, you know a decision I make on Tuesday will have vast effects on my life. But if I made a different decision, something completely different could happen or whatever. Or like, yeah. oh, if yeah. I never took this one class, I never would have met this one person and made this one decision or whatever. Oh, yeah, definitely. Do you ever think about, like, maybe one of your mundane decisions would have, like, completely altered the history of the world? <laughs> yeah, it's like, you know, what if I just didn't stream and the world was in a way better place? Like, that, would be, <laughs> like, that, that might have been what happened, you know? Like, Bird never streamed, and so this one guy who was going to solve climate change never would have watched his stream and would have gone to class and then would have solved climate change. <laughs> yeah, I think about that all the time. Yeah. But, no, me playing video games is fun. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, we did just get a bucket, by the way. Buckets are huge in Minecraft. Uh, for those of you that have played Minecraft, a bucket is one of the most overpowered things you can get. It's really good. Uh, basically, it's an infinite water source. You can save yourself from a high fall. Uh, you can climb things by just placing water over and over again. It's really good, and it has advancements tied to it, like a bucket of lava is an advancement. Catching a fish in a bucket is an advancement. Things like that. So, good advancement to get, a uh, good recipe to get for Minecraft. Um, so, I think the play here is probably to play Mario for a little bit longer, and then I'll switch to Minecraft here and see what we can get, because now we have a decent amount of things we can make and try to find. Um, there is one more thing in Minecraft that we're looking for that'll be helpful. Not required, but just helpful. It's a compass. But it's a compass, a compass that points towards a structure. Um, and it'll say, like, okay, this is the village compass. And it will point towards where a village is located. And if it's spinning in a circle, you know it's not in the dimension that you're currently in. So if we find a compass for a village and it's spinning in the overworld, that means it's probably in the nether, could be in the end. Uh, it's very helpful for determining what you're looking for and where to find it, you know? Grab this down here. Okay. And as you see, I'm still like, it's a little bit different for routing some of these stars because I'm used to running this like 120 star and being like, okay, you do this specific movement. But now you have to include like one up boxes that are way out of the way because those are also item checks. They could be power stars, they could be helpful items. So. See, now you got me thinking about what else I did in my life that could have, like, bettered everything if I just didn't do it. <laughs> or the opposite. Maybe it's things true. would be way worse. Yeah. Or Maybe, you, like... You are the hinge around which the universe spins. I just want you to know this. I'll be thinking about that every night that I sleep now. <laughs> yeah, you'd be like, man, if I go to bed at 10.30, things might be drastically different. <laughs> if I made that three-pointer during that game, man. I know. <laughs> it would have been nuts. Could've Bro, just... if we went to state, <laughs> dude, we would have crushed. Their defense just blows, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you just never know. You just never know. Oh, okay, that's good. We got more ender pearls. That's good. We got six now. Um, ideally, like 15, 16 to be safe. A good number to have. Because so. they're good for teleporting, too. They're not just good for filling the portal. Correct. Um, if we have extras that we can use for teleporting, that's ideal. But I've found that my luck with Archipelago is absolutely trash. Um, and what I mean by that is sometimes the ice break on one use. Sometimes the uh, end portal has zero pearls already in it. So you have to use a full 12, you know, and most of the time that's me. Not a guy who has like nine pearls in there or something like that. It's just, it's it's bad luck all the time. Mm. Yeah. What's your uh, what's your random seed glitchless PB from one sixteen? Man, okay, this was like a few years years ago. Actually, I'm just gonna do it the safe way. Um, this is a few years ago, so I don't remember exactly, but I know it's a sub thirty. It was like a twenty eight, twenty seven. Okay, to me, time? anything under thirty minutes is very impressive. Okay, well then, thank you. <laughs> I, 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 it just seems hard. It, it is difficult because of all the knowledge you have to obtain, right? There's not a lot of steps in Minecraft, but you have to know so much so that way you can do it fast, right? Right. It's so improvisational as well. Yes, but that's some of my favorite things. This is why I like doing Archipelago. This is why I like doing Randomizer. It's just... Right. All improv movement, right? You don't sit there and grind one thing, really. You're just like, okay, how do I handle this situation in the current time? Sure. Super fun. Good yeah. time. 100%. Also, one thing is that we're not doing any 100 coin stars. Uh, those don't yield anything. So it's just kind of a streamlined way to play Mario. You don't have to sit there and grind out 100 coins on each level. Uh, they're not going to... They'll, they'll still spawn a power star, but you'll not get a single check or anything from it. There's no power star or anything. Sneaky little one up there, by the way. Yeah, I, I did not know that was there. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think you confidently know every check in this game? Yes. I have, after doing this for a few weeks, I have learned where all the one-ups are, and I'm <laughs> extremely confident I know where all the boxed ones are, at least. 
Okay. All right, we got Snowman's lost his head. Um, I think I'm going to check Toad and Mips and one level, and then we're going to switch to Minecraft. Um, and we'll see what we're working with there, because we've been... We've been, you know, grinding out a little Mario. We're getting some good items. We got 25 power stars, you know. We got brewing already. We're we're in good shape right now. We still need an upstairs key. We have the basement key, but we need upstairs key. But this is where you got to bounce back and forth between the games. And again, these are two of the more streamlined games. Uh, usually when I do this, I throw Ocarina of Time into the mix. And that's... I mean, you know how Ocarina of Time randomizer is. That's... Yeah. Things can be everywhere, right? Yeah. So... It's really hard to discern the logic when you find a hookshot somewhere in Rainbow Ride and you're like, I don't know if I'm supposed to have this now for, for this temple or if this was supposed to be way later. Like, See, that's why, that's why I love no logic. One of the many reasons I love no logic is because I don't even have to think about it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fair. Like, I, I think logic is really interesting and the players who are good at logic, it's very impressive to me. Like, thinking mm -hmm. like, okay, w what is the game telling me to go do? Um... Mm -hmm. But I love no logic and OT randomizer because it's just like, oh, I guess I could do like 50 things. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Which one like, has the it. most checks? <laughs> yeah. Oh, can I get to Gerudo training grounds yet? Yeah, no? it's like, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to see what this level is over here. These are two quick checks. Um, dude, this is another power star, so that's good. Uh, but let's see what this level is. We'll get one star here, and then we're going to switch to Minecraft. Whatever this might be. Um, dire Dire Docks. A little bit of a slower level. Not a big fan. Usually don't like to do this. But we're going to do it. Because we're here. And then uh, we'll switch and see what we get. I'm really interested to see what structures I have in the world. Typically you have two structures, right? You have like pillager towers. And you have village uh, villages. But it could be bastions and strongholds. Like, I remember one time I spawned in Minecraft at the very beginning of the seed inside of a bastion. And I was, like, so confused uh, at what was going on. Uh, we are going to switch now, by the way. Uh, well, I was so confused at what was going on. Right. I just, I was like, I don't know where I am right now. I think, oh, hi. What are you guys doing? Um, but, yeah, it's just, like... You know, I'm really curious to see what we're dealing with today. Um, I hope that these guys drop a uh, trident, because that's an advancement. Everything has a increased rate. As you see, there's a trident. That's great. Um, everything has an increased rate of dropping, so I think it's like a 50-50 on the trident. I think it's like a... Let's see if I can get the salmon real quick. Perfect. <laughs> um, that's all we need that for. Sorry about that. Um... It's like a 50-50 on the trident. It's like, uh, I think a 50-50 on the wither skeleton he heads you can get from the wither, wither skulls or the wither skeletons in general. Um, so it's kind of worth it to go for those ridiculous ones because they're not as ridiculous on an archipelago. It's really nice. Um, yeah. If I, can eat. I need a raw one. Does that count? Okay. Um, I see lava over there, but that's... It's whatever. Um... It's really interesting, too, because we get things like netherite scrap and enchanted books. We really don't use them during the run, though. It's very interesting. Um, all right, we can make stone tools. That's an end city compass. Okay, so we can find out where that is. It looks like it's not spinning, as you can see right here. So it's within our world. We have end cities in the overworld. That's going to be actually really good. Um, what else do I want to make? I want to make a furnace, and that's 16 pork chops. That's actually really good for sustainability. That's fine. Um, but now I think we want to go... I think... I don't know if I have progressive weapons. Here's the advancements thing, by the way, for those that don't know. So all these things right here, like, uh, you know, get a stone pickaxe, get a wood pickaxe, get an iron ingot. These are all the advancements that unlock checks within the game that you're looking for. Um, and it's all those tabs as well. So like eating food, getting a bucket, fishing, all that kind of stuff. Let's see what we have. Um, we have an end city in this direction. I wonder what my other structure is going to be. I think, actually, let's go make a boat. That's going to be important for trapping any endermen for farming, as well as just moving around in the water. Um, do I have... I, I actually do have enough. Perfect. Okay. Let's do that real quick. 
Do we already have 10 advancements? Again, the advancements, they kind of fly up really quickly at first. And then as once you start getting like 30, 35, depending on your seed, they really start to slow down. Uh, the key number we're going to be looking for here is going to be uh, 37 advancements because the last... Um, oh, there's an end city right there. That's cool. <laughs> um, the last uh, advancements you can get can be achieved from jumping into the end portal. So you'll get like three at the very end. Um, and funny, we're really not going to use this gold. I'm just going to use it to build. Kind of one of those like throwaway items. You, there's a couple advancements you could tie to it, but it's really not used often. So we're going to make our way into this end city. We're going to see what's up here. Maybe there's something cool for us. Ideally, we're probably going to die a lot, by the way. Um, but that's fine. We have keep items on. That's kind of important with an archipelago, especially if you have something called death link on. And Deathlink, basically, if one, person's die, one person dies with it on, everyone else with it on also dies. That's a very fun way to play. Um, but Minecraft is a lot more fun when you have the keep items on. Um, I think we can eat an item now. It should give us an advancement. That was a power star, so pretty cool. Um, got an advancement there. That's another power star. And we're in an end city in the uh, overworld. Very weird looking, that's for sure. Um... Hopefully, we can find a ship because that will have an elytra for us to fly around with. It makes it very easy to fly around in the nether. If we don't get one, that's whatever. But we'll see from there. Probably get hit by these guys a lot. Okay, there we go. I'm flying. Hopefully, they don't kill me. I believe in the dream. There's so many. Oh my, there's so many. <laughs> Let's go this way. This is maybe a little bit safer. <laughs> okay, so let's go up this way. There is a ship there, which is awesome. Cool, perfect. I should be falling down here in a sec. Good. Let's, this is gonna be so tricky to navigate. Okay, we're gonna fly up again. So these things, if they hit you, you get like, inflicted with like a floating like, I guess it's a, I don't know if it's a debuff or what, whatever you want to call it. I'm using it to my advantage, so it's not really a debuff, but I guess it's supposed to be. Um, so it's a little dangerous, but if you can use that to manipulate around like this, you can get through pretty okay. I'm finding some stuff that would break the logic right now because we are just finding stuff at, like, you know, without crafting them. So we just got a ton of advancements there, as you can see. Um, we found some arrows. We got a lot of power stars. Uh, let's go ahead and do Curse of Binding. That's fine. We got a Efficiency 4 Pickaxe. That's really good. Um, with Mending. Uh, let's see. We got Diamonds out of this, which is really good. We can throw this away now. Um, all right. We're going to see if the ship has uh, an Elytra. It should, for the most part. Bird. Yeah. As somebody who stopped playing Minecraft casually about 4,000 updates ago... Yeah. What what the hell is going is on screen right now, and what is an elytra? Okay, so what is on screen right now? Uh, this is an end city. This is normally found in the end. Uh, I might die. We're gonna find out. Okay, we're good. Um, so in the uh, end city, um, the end city or the end city is in the end. Typically, uh, the end is after you beat the dragon, you jump into a portal, and then you um, get teleported to, like, a different dimension. It's like, uh, oh, wait, I need to... Uh-oh. Uh um, hold on one second. Okay, we're good. <laughs> King! <laughs> um, so, basically, when you go into the end and you beat the dragon, you can go into a portal that's there, and it takes you to another dimension that's like the nether. You know the nether, correct? I, right? I know yeah. of the end as well. Okay, so it's in the end. These are just structures that are in the end. Um, which are pretty neat. You can find them randomly. Uh, they have a thing called an elytra there, which lets you fly. It's like wings, which is pretty neat. Um, so you can fly around. It's you you glide around more. So if you have um, if you have a little like firework, you can actually fly around, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't need. I think just this is fine, honestly. Um, more diamond stuff, gold. This is all really good stuff to have. Uh, but yes, so that is uh. This is an elytra here. We're going to take it off. We're going to put it on our... I have Curse of Binding. That's right. Cool. So we're not going to be doing that, but um, <laughs> basically it would go here. 
But uh, yeah, this thing would let you fly around, which is pretty cool. Um, I didn't. I forgot that we had Curse of Binding on, so that's that's not good. I can't take off that chess piece. So well, fun. you could build a bed, build a chest, put everything in it, and then die, right? Oh, this just doesn't come off my chest. Right, but if you die, does it come off? No. It's on for the rest of the game. It's on until it breaks, buddy. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So, um, pretty pretty fun stuff there. Uh, but yeah. So basically, this is an end game sort of thing that's in the very beginning of the game for us because it's just randomized. That's what happened. I think I realized what happened there. Um, very interesting stuff. So a boat can actually break on a fall at a very specific height number, like very specific, like forty-seven blocks or something weird like that. It's like super specific, and I think we fell from that exact height. So that's cool. <laughs> Do you <laughs> know where your stuff is? Uh, yes, I do still have the... Uh, well, all my stuff is still with me, though, which is great. Wait, so, what? 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 Yes, yeah, so Archipelago, you keep your stuff on death because there's a lot of randomization. Oh, that, yeah, yes. So if you were to lose certain things, it just makes it incredibly hard to kind of get back into it. So luckily... With uh, Archipelago, you get to kind of just keep your stuff. That's okay. why I wasn't too afraid. But I think we fell at that very specific... And someone in chat could probably confirm. But it's it's supposed to be like 40... I think it's 47, but it could be a different block height. But you, you fall at a very specific block height, and your, bro your boat actually breaks. Um, and it's only that height and not higher? Uh, yes. Why? As far as I know. I, well, I, 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 I have, have that question game. about a lot of Minecraft things. Right? Why? I'm trying to go back to, like, beta 0.7. I mean, you still could, though. I know. It, yeah. You know, you can you can live back then. You, you're an old soul. You can, you know. I played Minecraft in beta. Yeah. I, I, I believe that. You seem like the kind of guy that would play Minecraft in beta. I remember I was going to a friend. A friend, had, like, his parents had, like, a... Like a really rinky dink lake house at this lake okay. outside of town. Mm -hmm. And we were driving there. I was probably in like seventh grade. So this is like 2011. Okay. Um, and my friend Jake, or maybe it was Bo. Well, there's the two friends I was going with. One of them had a laptop. It's always it's always a Jake, dude. And he opened up his laptop and started playing this game called Minecraft. And I was like, what is that? <laughs> and I was like, that is the stupidest looking game I have ever seen. But then over the course of the weekend, I was like, this game is the greatest thing that's ever been made. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it's it's phenomenal. I also had that same, like, preconceived notion about it. I was like, hey, I'm not going to play with blocks. Like, what are you, what are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, exactly. This is, this is so silly, right? And then you play it, and then you're like, Hold on, wait, they were cooking here. Hang on, this game has an unbelievable amount of depth. Yeah, and then there's mods? What? Yeah, and even before installing mods or anything, or even before these more modern updates, like, the game was so much fun. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I agree. It was, uh, it's a golden time, and then I remember playing it on, like, the Xbox 360 when that yeah, came out. Yeah, my friends had the Xbox 360 version. Yeah, I was like... Well, this isn't quite the same, but I'm still going to play it because I love this game. This isn't quite and, the same, but yeah. it's on the living room TV. This is yes. interesting. <laughs> and my friends can play it because we're all Xbox guys. And so we don't like, have to yeah. buy a server off of Mojang. This is interesting. Yeah, yeah no rail. Or some, no need for that. some really sketchy forum website that's like, we'll host your server. Yeah, it's like, um, I don't know if I'm going to go with that, but, you know, let me get my mom's credit card real quick. <laughs> Tell me I don't have to learn JavaScript. This is huge. <laughs> yeah, those were definitely the days. And Sometimes now we're old. <laughs> yes. Um, now I have to stretch before doing any physical activities. Otherwise, ow. Yeah, now hurts. I'm in physical therapy once a week for my knees. That's where yeah. we're at. Yeah. Never forget. <laughs> okay, so what I'm doing currently right now, by the way... Um, I'm looking for just iron. It's supposed to be really easy to find. Not finding a single one. Pretty cool. Um, but ideally, Are you trying to mine an iron ore for an advancement? Um, well, kind of. I, I'm basically trying to get iron ingots uh, for making like the bucket, the shield, 
So yeah, for advancements in that category. Oh, um, the bucket thing you got was not a bucket. It's the recipe for a bucket. Correct. Got it. I'm so, starting uh, to understand. Yeah. So everything is like when you start Minecraft, the reason why I don't start with Minecraft is because it's like, okay, you get wooden tools and that's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like you can try to put the recipe in for a bed and it'll just say, that's cool. You can't do that though. So it's um, so cool that you know that. Yeah, like, I, you're not supposed to know that because you don't have the recipe. That's weird. Um, so it's interesting that they do that for Minecraft. And I kind of do like that, too, because it does provide some value in randomization, of course. Um, right. But, you know, I think we might just go with the, the ship coming up here instead. I might just die death warp to get out of here. Um, but, yeah, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty fun that they do that. Um, it's really interesting how much they limit you as well. Like, it's kind of nuts. Um, you can't make a furnace right away. I got really lucky in finding resource crafting, but usually you can't make a furnace right away, so you have to sit there and not cook um, unless you get into, like, a village, which would break, obviously, like, break the logic, but in Minecraft, I mean, yeah, I don't know if there's really a logic to follow here. Um, we do have eight iron ingots, which is good. We do have some spares. Okay, so we have enough to kind of make some things. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to make a bucket. That's good. I'm going to make shears. I'm going to make a shield. I don't have shield. Okay, I thought I did get that. All right, we'll, we'll just hang on to that one for later. Um, but we do have the bucket, which is good. And we do have shears. And I know I can make beds. I saw that advancement happen. So let me see here. I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, we do have a bow that's almost broken. We did get that from a skeleton. And shooting this at something is an advancement. So, um, first off, let's go ahead and be really kind. Thank you. Now we do this. Thank you. Um, and uh, that gave us 16 more iron ore, which is pretty neat. Pretty cool. Go do this. We can make beds. Actually, this is a perfect time to make a bed as well because uh, it is going to be nighttime, and sleeping in a bed is another advancement, so... You gotta go to bed before nighttime, Bird. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Okay, let's see. Somebody yeah, has posted this. about the falls with the boat. Oh, perfect. Okay, so there are specific. The full see, list of heights that kill you is 12, 13, 49, 51, 111, 114, 198, 202, 310, and 315. Okay. Okay, Super so there are cool. multiple, but yeah, it's so weird that it's so specific like that. Um, thank you for that information, by the way. I wasn't sure. I knew there was one in the 40s, and that was the only one I really knew of. But it's just weird how that works. So, yeah, I would say moving forward, Bird, whenever you think you might die, just c quickly count uh, the number of blocks between you and the ground and just, you know, sure. use your brain. Yeah. My fault. I'm yeah. sorry. Skill, I, I didn't realize. Skill yeah, issue, it's, probably. It's, it is a big skill issue, actually. Yeah. Um, I don't remember how to do this. Okay, let's go ahead and, and keep venturing. I'm going to keep a bed there for safety. We have a, a way to get into the nether. But one thing I want to look for as well is uh, the other structure that's in our world as well as a... Oh, that's another end city over there. And a ship. Huh. Okay. Um, let's not go that way. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and look for the other structure as well as ruined portals right now. Um, ruined portals also offer some, I guess, I guess if you want to call it logic-breaking uh, advancements. But... They have chests that allow you to... Oh, this is huge, actually. Having a dog is big. Um, having chests that have, like, obsidian and crying obsidian in it, and that's two different advancements itself. Okay, you are adorable. You stay there. You're, you will not die, I promise. Um, we just tamed an animal, so that's really good. Um, animals... Or taming an animal is an advancement. Um, I need to find a cow. A cow would be huge. Um, also, two chickens would be big as well. Uh, but taming an animal is an advancement. Going into a snowy biome is also really big because we can find an igloo, which provides us with a few different resources. Um, I got to be careful of powdered snow. Um, powdered snow is a thing in this game, for those that don't know, that you could sink into and slowly freeze to death. It's in these big blocks here. Uh, but there is an advancement for walking on powdered snow with, um, with leather boots. So uh, we got to find a cow, get some leather, get some boots on. Um, and then we just kind of vibe, you know, we do the things. Another end city over there. Wow. <laughs> I 
I don't know what my other structure is, though. I haven't found another thing yet. So there can be multiple of the two that you have. Oh, yeah. This is our third entity that we're coming across right now. But I have no idea what the other one is. It could be uh, a fortress. Which would be A fortress would be really nice. Ideally, that's what we find. Because I can make beds, right? There's a cow. Um, I can make beds. So I'm not too worried about, um, like, villages. But we do need a fortress for the blaze rods to make the eyes of ender and things like that. Um, let's see here. Let's get rid of this. Keep those for later. Uh, I do have the leather now. So I think what I'll do is I'll make the boots with the fur. Oh. He and said then, it. Um, he said it. I said it. the things. I said the things. Um, and then we'll walk on here safely because now we won't sink in any powdered snow and it would be an advancement. So ideally... We find some powdered snow, just walk on it. It's great stuff. We'll see an advancement pop up, and then we continue to look for a couple of things. We should probably switch back to Mario at some point. There's the powdered snow. We just did it. Um, it's really hard to tell which one it is. I still can't tell. Oh, it's this. Did I just kind of walk into that and start to freeze a little bit? Oh, well, I'm not actually freezing because I have the boots on, but um, yeah, you can kind of walk into a few blocks, and it's bad. It's a, it's a big no-no. You know, in my experience, mm -hmm. leather boots, uh, not really a, a game changer for walking through snow. In fact, I would argue worse. Maybe not worse so, than metal boots, which I guess is the alternative <laughs> in this game. Leather probably is far better than... Uh, and also, I guess w what I'm used to is like, you know... Leather in the modern sense is not really like the the medieval like leather boot is like a you know a tanned, cured, waterproof, or water resistant. Mm -hmm. Whereas now it's probably actually made out of like some plastic with a leather lining or something. Yeah, I mean I'm sure it's definitely changed, but I, this commentary I'm giving literally does not matter. I just want to point that out. Yeah, no, I you know most of the things. As I've come to, you know, meet you for the first time today, of course, uh, yeah. most things you're saying, like, kind of just doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's um, correct. But, um, yeah, I, I'm here for it anyway, because why not? I've also floated with a boat and a goat. That's an advancement. Um, so that's, I, I've actually never done that, ever, even casually. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm so proud of things. you. Thanks. I appreciate that, man. I just want to show up for you. That's all. Thank you. Um, we are getting to an ocean, which is pretty cool. We could also okay. take our first break anytime in the next, like, five minutes. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, you know what I'll do? I'll take a quick look in the water here for a minute, and then uh, I can hole up here, and we can definitely do that break. Sure. Let's just see what's around. So, like, oceans are pretty cool because you can find uh, boats, and there's a little way to do that. You can Usually, if you're underwater, you can't see, but if you position the camera just right... You can see under the water, under the sea, and see what's going on. Um, Down where it's wetter. Uh, this show is just better. Take it from me. Hey. Oh, perfect. Yeah, okay, we're definitely going to pull up right next to this. Uh, this is a fortress, so oh. this is where we get the, the blaze stuff. Blaze. I would say this is going really well. Uh, That's good. Yeah. Let's uh, Let's get out of here. I'm going to put this down here. This is probably not as... My boat is gone. Goodbye, okay. boat. See you later. Didn't need you anyway. I actually really did. I'm sad. Um, and I will build a hole, and we can take a little break. Nice. Let's go with this. We are now safe in a hole. So, all good here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Uh... <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, we'll be right back in just a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. We're going to have more Challenger approaching, more Bird 650, and more Minecraft plus SM64 randomizer in just a little bit. Don't go anywhere. Stick around. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Challenger Approaching. We're not going to waste any time. Bird, whenever you're ready with the uh, Minecraft SM64 combo rando.
Go ahead. Okay, going for it. Uh, we'll be resuming Minecraft in three, two, one, go. All right, we're in a hole. That's pretty cool. Let's get out of the hole. It is nighttime. I want to go back in the hole. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> um, but we're gonna see what we can do. Um, we, when we when we last left off, uh, we found a fortress. That's pretty cool. We're gonna have our blaze rods. Um, blaze rods are required to beat the game, basically. Uh, I'm a little afraid of this because I don't have a bed set up here, but we just have the coordinates. This is the menu I was talking about, by the way. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> so negative 300, negative 900 is roughly where we'll find things. Um, another end city, which is pretty funny. Uh, and this is the rune portal. This thing will be an easy gateway into the nether sometimes, especially if we get any obsidian, which <laughs> we didn't. That's pretty cool. It's not cool. It's really bad. So let's just go to the fortress and see what we can get here. Um, I should probably also get a weapon, pardon me, that is better than um, a wooden sword. I hope I have progressive weapons. I don't know if I do. We are going to find out here. Uh, let's see. Can I build a... Nope. Okay. So this is the fun part about randomizer. Um, we're going to see what happens. I could jump into the end city to find a tool by chance, but I think we're just going to go into the fortress. Maybe the advancement there will say, hey, by the way, you can, um, you can now all of a sudden make stone tools. That would be great. Because having a wooden sword to fight things is not ideal. Um, so, let's see, this guy's coming up here. Let's kill him. Um, if you're asking why I jump and attack, it's because that is a crit. Crit damage, obviously, is better overall. Um, if you see those little sparks come out of an enemy, that's really good. Um, we just went ahead and got a lava bucket. That was an advancement. Now, if we go down here and we um, get a fish in a bucket, that's another advancement. So we're going to try to do that. Um, this is actually a little weird to have a somewhat, like, flooded fortress. It's going to be really interesting to try to navigate in general, but I guess we'll see what we can do. Um, I'm quickly just kind of looking for a fish real quick. Um, not a squid. If we can find a fish, that would be great. Maybe I'll just go back to like a lake or something that has it. A river. <clears throat> I think it might be better just to go inside the fortress. But basically, we want to go in here into this fortress. Uh, if you've never beaten Minecraft before, one of the steps you need to take is go into one of these, which is usually in the nether. And you want to go kill these things called blazes. Blazes shoot fire, thus the name blaze. Um... That's about it. They shoot fire. They're kind of annoying. Uh, you kill them, they drop a rod. You use the rod to make a thing for the eyes of Ender. It's basically what it is. use this bucket. I'm just going to get up this way. This is why a bucket is really good. And then there's a few advancements that are specific to a fortress. One of them is entering a fortress, which we already did that. Um, ideally... Find anything good in here. These chests sometimes have like diamond stuff. It's really dark in these as well. Um, but I could, you know, just for the viewing experience, I can just light fire along the way. It's a good man. Yeah, you know, I just do what I can for the people. You know, it's as like it's should. a little dark in here. You know, I hear footsteps and I hear a skeleton. So these are wither wither skeletons. You'll see whenever I find where one is. Um, and if they hit you, your health slowly withers away. Thus, the name Wither Skeleton. Um, it's not fun, but there is an advancement tied to getting one of their skulls, which usually has a... Hi, guys. Let's not go after you guys. Um, uh oh. This is going to be a little, a little sketchy. I don't have a shield. Oh, hi. Uh oh. Hmm. Okay. Uh, where's... Hey, buddy. <laughs> Just having a good time. All right, that works. Okay, so killing these guys sometimes can um, can drop a skull. Uh, that's an advancement, getting a skull. Um, also, wow, this is such a weird fortress to work with. Um, 
They also can drop the wood, uh, stone sword, which usually is not great, but since we only have wood, that would be kind of ideal. Let's see. Um, we do have a full inventory, so I might have not been able to pick one up. Here. Uh, let's go with tossing you. I don't think they've dropped the skull yet. A little unlucky there, but that's okay. But basically, we're going to try to get a skull, if possible. Um, that th thing you hear breathing in the background, that's a uh, that's a blaze right there. They like to try to set you on fire, like such. I do have a bucket, though. We did get a blaze rod, which is good. That's an advancement. That's another power star. As you see, we're up to 38. Um, also, during the break, if... Chad, if you didn't notice, we jumped from 27 to 37 stars. That's just because I unpaused the game. If you pause the game, you don't actually receive the items. So that's all that happened there. Um, this is such a weird fortress, but I do want to work with this. Um, it's just such a weird layout in the water to work with. Um, I, don't know, I hear footsteps again. I think that's just the creeper on top. This is the chest we got earlier. No, it's not. Okay, perfect. Um... Okay, so that's another power star. We get obsidian. Now we're at 30 advancements, which is really good. One thing to note is that once you do beat a game, okay, once you do finish a game, the rest of the items in that world do release, which means if I were to beat Minecraft, the rest of those advancements will release all the other items that they're holding on to, and uh, they'll be granted to either Mario or Minecraft, depending on which game they're really in involved with. Um... What are we at here? We still just have one. Okay, that's fine. Um, so yeah, ideally uh, we beat a game and all like, maybe we beat Minecraft and then all of a sudden we get, actually a saddle's pretty big here. Um, we beat Minecraft and then we get like 30 power stars from it and then we rush up to beat Mario and then that's it, right? So we'll see, hopefully that happens. Um, but it's all dependent on the blazes. I need to find the spawner. I'm also a little concerned about this layout with all the water. I think I'm going to go for eight rods to be safe. Nine would be a little overkill, but it wouldn't be a bad idea, I guess. Um, How many pearls do you have? I currently have six. So we'll definitely need to go into a warp forest or find more checks for that. Um, which it could be, I don't know. There's six pearl drops as checks. So hopefully we find one. That'd be really nice. Okay, there's a couple of wither skulls. So what if we drop our gold? There we go. Got a power star there. That's really good. I don't mind getting hit by the fire. We just want to stay in the water here. So let's fight this guy. Okay. Now. We did get a, so a stone sword out of that, though, which is really, really good. All right, so 31 advancements. Um, I think I do have to go this way, unfortunately. Do you think the layout of this is going to put me towards this direction for the actual spawners? Um, we do have two blaze rods right now, but I think the spawner will probably be around here. A little dark, so like I said, for the good people, I will light the way. Oh, yeah, here we go. Um, okay, so let's do... The one bright side is that the ceiling's already kind of walled off, so the blazes don't fly up in the air. But I am just kind of... Okay, well, it's almost walled off, I guess. Now I'm going to go ahead and mine out some of this, so that way more can spawn in a batch. This is how we farm the blaze rods. Got three... You know, just for safety, maybe I'll go with nine. Nine is pretty overkill. You don't need 18 eyes, but you just, I want to be safe, you know? So let's do this. Better to be safe than sorry. That's the motto of uh, SM64X Minecraft Archipelago Randomizer. So I've heard. Yes, that's the motto we live by and just what we live by. Just SM64X Minecraft, so. Yeah. Yeah. Now, don't ask me about SM64X Ocarina of Time. That's a totally different motto they go by. Right, you know? that motto is um, live fast, die hard. Are you are you sure that's it? Not unclear. Okay. 
Just making sure. I, I, I didn't know for sure because, you know, I wouldn't do that. But, you know, <laughs> I guess it is what it is. <laughs> okay, how are we doing here? We got five rods right now. Um, that's pretty good. Ideally, just a couple more would be great. You know, be pretty dope. And then um, we do have the ability to make a a portal to the nether. I do have three obsidian, um, which is pretty good. Um, but I do want to try to hang on to... Actually, it's mainly just hanging on to one, so I think we'll be all right. Um, probably reconstruct the portal instead. Open. Put it that way. So hopping into the nether itself is an advancement in itself. Maybe it might yield two, I don't remember. That's a lot of fire. This part of the run is usually like the sketchy part of the run when you do like a, a normal run, not an archipelago one, because you die, then it's over. Like you just lose everything. But luckily with archipelago, we just go back to our bed. So if I can get like one or two more blaze rods here, that'd be dope. And then we'll try to get into the nether. Um, I'm going to check on the side while they're spawning really quick and see in Mario, I have I have one cap and one key. I have the metal cap, which honestly is not very useful for us. Um, because the logic is like, oh, hey, you got the metal cap, so now you can do these things with the metal cap. But you can all, you, you never actually need the metal cap with the speedrun. There's just no. no reason. There's There's no reason. Yeah. No requirements for it. So we got the most useless cap. Um, I would say the most beneficial cap is probably a vanish cap. Um, but, again, we'll have to try to find that. So, All right, Let's see if we get one more rod would be ideal. Then we get out of here. We did get the one rod, so perfect. Um, so now we'll get out of here. Um, I'll feel a little bit more confident about trying to find the stronghold afterwards. Like this. Um, I do kind of want to find my boat because it did kind of sink right through the bottom here. <laughs> um, I think it's just gone. So that's cool. Nice. We'll make another boat. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Awesome. Love that. A relatively cheap resource. Yeah. It's five wooden planks. It's whatever. Um, so the last thing I'll do is we'll go up this way and get ready to go into the nether. And then I think I might actually switch pretty soon to Mario to see if we can find more Ender Pearl drops. Um, that would be really dope. So I think the plan here is we're going to go into the Nether, see where we are. If we do happen to be in a warp forest, that's really good. If not, then that's not really good. Um, and we just go from there. Um, I do want to organize a little bit. We don't need the Nether scrap. We don't need the salmon. I think we go with shears and we're going to since we're not fighting a village right now I what the heck <laughs> huh was perfect timing yeah that was a little weird um so I think we'll go ahead and try to make a bunch of beds um they just keep spawning back their stuff that's great uh I also haven't made it two animals yet which is why I held on to these because I have a chicken here and a chicken here and when two chickens eat seeds they make babies this is how it works don't ask me I so won't ask you. I'm not going to ask you. Okay, cool. Thank you. I appreciate that. I was actually really nervous that you were going to ask, but... Until right now, I was thinking about it. For the last mm -hmm. hour or so, I just couldn't decide if I wanted to. Okay, that's fair. Well, but I now that you've expressly that. stated not to, I guess I just won't. Yeah. I mean, if you really want to, you can ask me. No, you like, said don't. Well, I'm, I'm rescinding that now if you really want to. No. You can do it. No, okay. I, I'm done with it. Ah, all right, whatever. <laughs> uh, we'll just go into the <laughs> go into this the nether like, then. This feels like lucky placement of this portal right by that fortress. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I do like that. It was good. Wait, we got the... Oh, my God. <laughs> um, okay, so we got the second floor key from that. That's actually huge. Um, we needed that. Fun fact. And this looks like a very bad nether. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plop in this corner, and we're going to get ready to switch because we can go uppies. We are now safely in hole, which means 
Uh, we're gonna switch audio here. We're gonna go ahead and play some Mario and see what we can do. We have 41 stars. Let's see what's happening here in Mario. Let's go straight upstairs now. Like that. Anyway. There's a lot of things we could do, a lot of items or power stars to check and all that good stuff. Um, but I, obviously, in the spirit of the rando, Aww. theoretically, I could just bail Jay up the stairs. I was gonna and, say. You know, you could just cheat. But are we stinky cheaters here? No. No, we're not. I was. If you said yes, then I was literally gonna BLJ right now and finish Mario. We're, we're winners. Yes, we're winners. So, we're gonna find our 70 stars. We're in, we're kind of in like, what would you call it in Ocarina of Time? Like glow mode, I guess, where you, you have your items, but you just need that one last thing to go, like the light arrows, right? That low mode, I like that. There's like glow mode, right? There's also no mode. Where, where you got nothing? You, no, no, it's it's where you know where the items are from hints. Oh, K-N-O-W mode. Yeah, there's also no mode, like you're not playing the game, so that's good. Mm. Um, yeah, there's a few different modes you can be in, I guess. I like bro mode. Bro mode? Yeah. Are we doing bro mode right now? We're in bro mode right now, dude. Let's see my webcam has froze. Let me fix that real quick. It froze you. on a smile. There it is. There it is. <laughs> There it is. I'm just a happy guy. That's I all. mean, I, I know that about you. Um, so as I mentioned before, by the way, each painting is randomized as well. So I go into uh, tiny, huge item, tiny Huge Island Small, and it's this level. But if I go into Tiny Huge Island Huge, then it'll be a completely different level, which is pretty neat. That's my butt. It's on fire. Tiny Huge Island, huge! Huge! Now, obviously we want to get the one up, so Infinity Book, that's kind of whatever. Um, we did get progressive tools as an upgrade, so we can make iron tools now. I would still love to have like a progressive weapons upgrade. It's just a nice little quality of life thing. Um, finding the shield recipe would also be huge. Uh, we just got a cannon unlock for Tall Tall Mountain. I'll be honest with you, most cannons are completely useless. Um, but the ones that are helpful are like Jolly Roger Bay, uh, Rainbow Ride, and even um, bob on Battlefield. So those would be the good cannons to get. The rest of them are kind of just pointless for the most part. We said 50 OP over to Bird Minecraft. Hopefully he enjoys the OP. He's feeling OP. Yeah. So what? what's the, the status on Minecraft? What are you missing to go beat the game um, besides advancements? Yeah, aside from a few advancements, we just need pearls, and then we can find the stronghold. And the stronghold so, will give an advancement also. The stronghold itself gives an advancement, and then hopping in the end portal gives an, another two advancements. So, you, like, once we get three more advancements, we just kind of start finding the stronghold and hopping in. Um, so what I want to do in Minecraft is I want to... Find more pearls, which is why we're kind of playing Mario right now. Um, we could use the warp for, uh, forest uh, to find pearls, but that is, is just dependent on luck. Uh, but we do have a lot of drops of pearls left to find. We've only found two out of six pearl drops. Um, so ideally, play a little Mario, find some pearls while we get power stars. Um, and then in Minecraft, we'll want to make beds for the dragon fight and uh, get those last pearls and then we can kind of go. Um, so both games are technically in kind of like go mode-ish. Definitely Minecraft. Mario still walled behind stars, but we have that upstairs key now that I mentioned earlier that we like really needed. So. Got a cool little trick where you just kind of walk up the side here and do a little slide jumpy thing. Pretty Dito. Nailed it! Let's go! Oh my god. Oh my god. I was so nervous about that. <laughs> I'm still so nervous just being on your show right now. <laughs> oh my god. It's nerve-wracking, you know? You have the ADEF I've heard so much about in first time talking to you. I'm unwell. <laughs> Do you need a lay? Just sit down? Oh my god, that trick was so incredible. What can I say? The next Siglemic is coming. It's not me. <laughs> I'm peeing my pants. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
It's happening. Oh my god. Wait, is that actually... Do, do I have the cannon actually open here? Hold on. Progressive weapons. There we go. We can make stone weapons. That's fantastic. So now we can make a stone axe, which actually is a lot better than the stone sword itself. The, uh, it, it hits slower, but the crit damage is just too much to ignore. So um, It would have been nice using that for the blazes, but at, at least we have it now. So that's good. I feel like you didn't lose that much time. No, no. It wasn't that bad. I, honestly, this is going really well. Um, I think we can finish this not super soon, but relatively soon. Uh, it's the Mario stars and then just getting enough. It's it's just the pearls. The pearls are the most annoying part at the end of, uh, of Minecraft because, again, back in the day with 1.16, you just do some piglin trading and you're done. Like, it's kind of guaranteed. And you could still try to do that with this, but it's way more dangerous with the piglin brutes that they added to the game on the later version, which they don't care. Uh, I guess how the piglins work is if you are wearing gold, they don't mind you being around them. But the piglin brutes that they added, they don't care if you're wearing gold, they just kind of kill you. And they have axes that do a lot of damage. So it made that really difficult. They also nerfed the chance of getting pearls from those trades. So it's just now, like, I wish you could do it on 1.16.1. Um, no, the cannon's not unlocked, okay. Um, I wish you could do it on 1.16.1, but it's just... It's just a little more annoying on 1.20. And that's the only version that works right now for Archipelago. So. 32 arrows. I mean, it's... Uh, yeah. Those are fine items. Not what we're looking for, but that's okay. I do have a toad I can get up here. At 50 stars, we can go up, up into, like, the TikTok clock area. But it's a good change of pace. And that's what's nice about the Archipelago too, is that like, even if you're doing like a solo one, is if you have multiple games and you're kind of like, all right, I'm, I'm kind of kind of through with playing Minecraft right now, you can just switch and you're good as long as you have checks to do, you know? Yeah, that is nice. Yeah. I also did not like the nether spawn we had. It was kind of like a cave and that's not ideal. Um, so we'll see what we can do. Again, hopefully we get a few more pearl uh, drops. That would be really, really nice. Let's see what this is. Okay, we got wing cap from that. Um, that is not bad. That opens a handful of checks. Um, not bad. Not what we're looking for, but, you know, it is what it is. And then we'll see what the other paintings have as well. We're gonna go ahead and do the uh, the eel next. Um, it's really difficult to do this star once the eel is out and about. But ideally, if you just kind of wait for the star to... Like, the hitbox is kind of extended. I don't know if it's only in the early section or not, but... You just come at it from up above like this you can kind of just be in the area and it spawns so it's really nice do you have a favorite star bird you Ooh. Got it. Ooh. No, i would say but in, the game, uh, in the game oh man okay you're gonna make me think uh i actually really do like wet dry world in general so i'm gonna go with the 100 coin route for wet dry world i think that is a fun star that's got fun movement and you kind of just you fly around on the map for a while and then you go downtown for the red coins to finish it up and that movement's really like slick and nice it's good oh i forgot this is archipelago um so i need to go this way <laughs> there's a one of box right here and that was useless cool uh, but yeah, I would say that's probably one of my favorites. Um, and I know people don't like TikTok clock too much. Uh, KRB, that's okay. That's JRB for <laughs> why they use K for that. Okay. Um, wait, why is J the J gone for that? 
I just realized that. Colorado do they just not have Bay. a? Do they just not have a a J for the font? Even though Jolly Roger Bay is in the game. Here we go. Is it ever displayed in that font? I feel like very few things are ever typed in that font in the base game. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's just weird. I don't know. I feel like boo of bullets instead of box of bullets when I send stuff to Doom. It's, it's great. a good one. That's a good one. All right, we're back here because we did just get a cannon unlock, so uh, let's just do this one real quick. Um, and then we'll check Snowman's Land. Getting a lot of secret stages up here, which is pretty interesting. Okay. This is a lead. Not useful whatsoever, but we can make one. So that's cool, I guess. It's important to me. To you? Yeah. Oh. That dog is waiting for you. This is true. Okay. If if we have time, <laughs> no. we'll make a lead <laughs> and we'll bring him on the journey. I'm going to go with we probably will not be able to do that. Just a heads up. <laughs> but if we do have time, if we like all of a sudden get everything we need, I will go and do that. Ooh. Oh, never mind. Okay. So that was the Nether Fortress uh, structure compass. As you see, we have two of them on the map or in our inventory right now in Minecraft. Um, they're not going to be useful because we already found the fortress, but they're going to be tied together in terms of like, if I were to throw one away, all you have to do is right click on the other one and it'll change into the one you've already gained. So they kind of stack on each other into one inventory slot to save inventory space, which is really nice. Um, I would love to have seen like Village or Bastion since we already found a fortress, but that's okay. Um, let's just go in there. <laughs> Punch Mr. Irock here. Did you know that this guy's name is Irock, by the way? I feel like I actually found this out very recently. Uh, it really is astonishing how much Nintendo loves that kind of enemy. Yes. Eye in hand. Hit eyeball. Yeah, there's there's a few different things. Like, okay, so do you know enemy names in Mario 64? Probably not outside of the, like, classic Mario enemies. Okay. But you know, like, Thwomp, right? Yeah. Like thwomp and, and I thwomp. know Thwomp and, like, Thwimp and... Uh, and Wimps. Thwomps and Goomba and Koopa. Stompin' Koopas. The Shy Guy. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the Shy Guys that shoot the stuff are, like, Snoots or something. Sure. I don't know. <laughs> Those... Fly guys and shy guys. Those guys that are uh, rotating blocks over there probably have a name. Uh, yes. Those are, those are called toy boxes, I'm pretty sure. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But, okay, I, I, have, uh, I have a question. For yeah, you, okay. Though. Okay. The, the thwomps that are inside the pyramid here, you know that there's one that spins around, and there's one that... Um, What's it called? Actually, let's do this instead. Are you talking about the uh, ones that have, like, mummy wrappings on them? Yes. Do you know what those are called? I, can I... I don't, but I can try to guess. You could, yeah. I mean, you think of their naming uh, scheme, right? They're pretty obvious about their stuff, right? Womp, wimp. Mm -hmm. Womps and wimps. We're, we're going to call them... Th thwump. Thwump? Yeah. And a thwip. Thwomp and Pump or something like that? Yeah, what are they called? They're actually called Grindle and Spindle. Oh, good. <laughs> because because they're smiling all the time, right? So they just give them a Grindle and a Spindle. <laughs> Dude, epic. <laughs> it's your fun fact of the day, my friend. Isn't Grindle... Isn't that the name of the... Hang on. What's the villain in Beowulf? In the, like, classic medieval story Beowulf? I don't know. <laughs> Grendel. That's, it's Grendel. It's Grendel. I knew I was <laughs> I knew it was close. Fair. Well, it is it's not Grendel here, but it is Grendel. 
And then obviously the one that spins is, is a spindle. Grendel makes a cameo in Super Mario 64. That's my Avengers Endgame. <laughs> when like people clap at, you know, Iron Man showing up in a Marvel movie, for me it's Grendel showing up in. <laughs> Bro, is that Grendel and Spindle? Bro! No way! <laughs> they put Spindle in Wonder? Bro, that's nuts. <laughs> I mean, I would be down for that cameo, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> We have a few Grindles here and only one Spindle. There he is. Dude, oh, where are my Spindle runners? Spindle's just an actual word. It is. It's kind of nuts. That's kind of nuts. Right, perfect. Um, okay, so one other enemy in this game. Those wonderful guys in TikTok clock that like to launch you. You just go flying, right? Wait, wait, wait. Launching guys into not the catapult they're, guys from Wet Dry World. Well, they're yes, those guys as well. Okay. What do you think those are called? Count Flipula. Honestly, a pretty bad guess, but <laughs> <laughs> spatulas. Uh, um, they're they're actually called heave hoes. Mm. Because you yeah. Know. Oh, I get it. <laughs> oh, I get it. Listen, Nintendo's pristine with naming their enemies, okay? I'm trying to think of a, an obscure enemy naming that you might not know. Um, you know, Probably B, a lot. You know Beemos in Ocarina of Time? Yes. Did you know there are two different kinds of Beemos? Isn't there like a Armos or something like that? Or Well, Armos is the, the knights that jump around in like oh, okay. the DC compass room. Mm. But... There are big and little Beemos. So, the Beemos is the big one, and the little one has its own name? It's no, nice there, there, I was just... It, I couldn't think of a naming thing, so I'm just coming up with another enemy. Oh, fact. oh. no, I, I guess I never noticed that. Next time you're in Shadow Temple, uh, take note of the... Like, you know when in Shadow Temple, there's the whole, like, hover boots section, and then after that, you move the, uh, the rotating thing, and then you go across the gap? Yes. Okay, next time you go across the gap, look at how big the Beemos is in that room with the, like, wall you can Okay. He's, like, twice as big as a normal Beemos, and he takes two bombs to kill. Oh, wow. Okay, I, I don't know how I've never noticed that. It's, like, a thing that we know but don't think about. Uh, okay. But you'll see it next time, and you'll be like, huh, it is bigger. There's a few of them in the game. There's, like, two or three. Okay. Did you know? I'm sure you know this. You know about the big stall children, where like if you kill enough stall children at night, you yes. get a big one. Did you know? And it drops are, like a ton of money. There are other enemies that do that. Whoa. Oh wait. Uh, there is the um. What's the name of the one that's in the desert that comes from the ground? The levers. Yes. There's one of those, correct? Yes. There is big okay. levers, but there are also big guays. What? So if you kill enough of the birds in the desert, you'll get a big one. Oh. Do you also just get a ton of money from it, or? I don't remember. I think it drops a red ruby or something, but I might just be blowing smoke. I don't really remember. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, because you're the you're the Ocarina guy. You know, you. I know. I, I know yourself. a fair amount about Ocarina of Time, more than any yeah, human you, should know, I think. Right, but I, you know, that's why I respect that and respect you. Thank you. Um, yeah. Um, just solely on that, though. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you know, I can't, you know, build you up too much here. Sure. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't there the the enemy that drops the most amount of money in Ocarina of Time is a like the the child in the woods, right? The skull child or whatever. Yeah, the stall child or the uh, the um, skull kids. Yeah, they drop like an orange rupee or something. Uh huh. Yeah, right? an orange rupee, which is value two hundred. Um, wow. It's it's identical to a gold rupee. It gives the same amount, two hundred rupees. Uh, except it's just never in a chest. It's only in the open world, and it's huge. Uh, but yes, it gives 200 rupees. Ah, it makes sense. Okay. The more you know. <laughs> it's actually, like, low-key kind of hard. Like, there are weird conditions for killing Skull Kids, uh, especially as Child Link. It's very difficult. Um, uh -huh. And as adult Link, there's like weird conditions as to whether they run away from you or not when you're attacking them. Um, okay. 
I don't really remember the ins and outs of it, but it's weird. Okay. It's early Nintendo. Yeah, things are very strange. I mean, you can have an R-Wing in there. You can have an R-Wing in there if you know an unbelievable amount about the game. <laughs> okay, I just saw, by the way, that I had a Pillager compass, so I'm gonna just swap this out. All right, cool. What is that um, So that is gonna let me know where a Pillager tower is, and that is a thing that we can get a cross. I mean, I can make my own crossbow now at this point, but we could still, there's an advancement for firing a crossbow at a pillager because it's their own like weapon. Um, so it's spinning around, which means it's not in the nether. And I think you can only have two structures in the overworld. So it's probably in the end, which means we're probably not gonna get that advancement this run. Probably. Most likely. It's pretty bad. So, ideally, it would have been in the overworld, though, and we just go and make a crossbow and then fire it and get, like, two advancements real quick. But also, if you notice, the hand is not here anymore. It's because TikTok clock's not here. The hand huh. usually goes wherever the level is, unless it's in a weird spot like the aquarium, which it was in this time. So I made a little stink about that being like, hey, I can't tell what time it's going to be because there's no hand here. <laughs> but otherwise, you'll see it, it, like, in front of the painting, just the hand moving. Very weird. Here's a question, Bird. Here's an answer for you, Adef. What the, like, you know how there's a lot of different kinds of sculptures in OOT? Okay, yeah. What What do you think? The sculpture is like in Deku Tree that are yeah. just on the wall, the small ones that just rotate around while you're climbing the vines. What do you think those are? What do I think they're called? Yeah. They have a specific name besides just sculpture. Because there's a lot of, so there's like gold sculptulas. Um, the big ones that come down <clears throat> from the ceiling and spin around, those are called big sculptulas. Um, but what what do you what, what do you think the, the ones that just are on vines and are the same size as gold sculptulas, what are those called? Uh, shout out to my mixtape, we're gonna call it Young Sculptula. <laughs> Y U N G, I, I assume. <laughs> of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nintendo was really ahead of SoundCloud on that one. <laughs> um, no, they're called Skull Walchulas. Skull Walchulas? Yeah, it's because like because they're only on the walls. That's correct. <laughs> okay, this. so another good one. <laughs> you know the? Uh, I started just remembering these now. You know how okay. the like the skulls with fire coming out of them are called bubbles? Yes. Okay, what are the bubbles called? The like the bubbles in Jabu Jabu's belly that can blow up on you. Do you know what they're called? Oh, the actual bubbles? Yeah, the actual bubbles. Okay, cuz I was going to hit you with isn't it called like a lava bubble for one of them, but like if you're talking about an actual bubble from Jabu, yeah, like a bubble made out of water. I'm just going to call it like a gas pocket, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's called a shabam. <laughs> How? Okay, explain to me how Shabam works in this uh, scenario. I can't. Okay, we got we we gotta get we gotta get uh, we gotta get games tabled in here. Do you know games tabled? No. It's an Ocarina I don't. of Time 3D uh, and other like 3DS Zelda person. Uh, okay, he's been on this show before. Um, I believe because he was one of the developers of the OT 3D randomizer. And so he and Gymnast were on, and we talked about Shabams for like genuinely an hour. <laughs> because <laughs> Games Table like weirdly knows a lot about the Shabams, and there like okay. is lore for why they're called. Them. Really? I can't remember what it is, but there is lore. I can't even imagine what it would be, so. <laughs> That's that's pretty incredible, actually. Shabam, baby. <laughs> this kind of trivia just reminds me that, like, I'm not a big trivia guy myself. So I know I've been joking about being like, oh, I'm so nervous on your show. But, like, individual tri uh, trivia when I'm not on a team, I genuinely freeze up. Like, I'm like, I don't know what 2 plus 2 is. Or I don't know who Michael <laughs> Jordan is, you know? Um, but it was so fun. Organizing trivia questions with you a while back. Oh, isn't that a blast? Like coming up with yes. trivia stuff. Yeah, it's really good. The gaming trivia was super fun. General, general trivia. <laughs> not, not for me. Uh, general gaming. 
Um, there you go. Yeah, I, there's something like weirdly fun about like, oh, what's some obscure knowledge that I know? It's yeah. like definitely a flex. Like you are flexing by coming up with trivia questions for sure. There's something definitely like inherently braggadocious about it, I think. Sure. Um, but it is very fun. Uh, and also like trying to think of like, okay, what's easy enough that people will get it without yeah. being like too easy. Yeah. It's fun. It's you really got to craft some good stuff together that also would be fun for the people and not make them go, what the heck? Like, how are we supposed to know this? Bert, I feel like you would be good at team trivia. I think team trivia, when it's not directed on me being like, you have to answer this right now, I'd be like, oh, mm. you know? <laughs> <laughs> and Bird, your final word at the Scripps National Spelling Bee is, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. The correct answer was cat. <laughs> <laughs> There's a correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> and literally uh, anything that's not just a sound would have been a correct answer. <laughs> I, I do feel like, though, like, I mean, the beauty of Team Trivia, also a nice, nice clip. Here we go. Um, I do feel like, you know, everybody's got something they can bring to the table in Team Trivia. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. So I would be more down for that. I feel like you've got a lot of sports knowledge that most people in our circles would not have. Yeah, but ask me straight up and I'll be like, uh, I don't know. I think David Ortiz plays uh, bowling. David Ortiz plays bowling. <laughs> yes, it would it would come out like famously, that. And you'd be like, this famously <laughs> one of the sports that requires the verb play to come before. Yes, it would 100% come out like that. And I'd be like, what is going on? There's actually a funny trivia story where um, we were playing like Trivia Pursuit. And this is kind of when I found out that I freeze up during these things. Um, I got asked a question that the answer was David Ortiz. I forget what it was. It's like, who plays for the Red Sox or something like that, right? Who, pl like, who plays for the Red Sox? It was something. Uh, and I Name I, anyone on the <laughs> roster. But the specific answer they wanted was was David Ortiz for, for some reason. I don't know what it was. It was sure. probably who set the record for something. I don't know. Um, and I couldn't give the answer. I was like, I don't know. And I was playing with Tones and Foo. And they were like, you should know this. And I was like, I don't. I'm sorry. And then... I didn't get it right, obviously. Uh, and then a couple rounds go by, and there's another question that the same answer is David Ortiz for a completely different. It was like, who's called Big Poppy in the MLB? And I, it's not even my turn. And in the background, I just go, David Ortiz, baby! <laughs> and everybody started dying laughing, and I was like, yeah, I I'm not playing trivia anymore. <laughs> just, just not happening. <laughs> it was a good time, though. I had a problem when I was younger of like, I would get overconfident when I was doing well in trivia. And then I would do the thing where like to flex, you like answer early or like don't oh. consult your teammates and just, you're like, I know this. And yeah. that genuinely bit me in the ass so many times that I was like, <laughs> okay, for the rest of my life, I will think so hard <laughs> and ask everyone before I say something. <laughs> Hey, sometimes you just need a moment like that to wake you up, you know? I know, and sometimes it works out and you feel like a god, but like, yeah. But is no, it worth it? It's like, not worth it. It's not worth it. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> the disappointment when you get it wrong and your teammates go, you should have asked me. That's yes. like, you're like, oh man, I let the whole team down. This sucks. Yeah. Quick sign up, by the way. I know we are doing a run. I did just get three more pearls, so that's really good. Um, do you feel like that's like enough? Oh god no. Okay. We have nine we have nine pearls right now. I would be better off with like uh, fifteen. So like two more pearl drops would be great. Uh but we almost have enough to beat Mario, which is really cool. And also I'm going to go ahead and say this out loud. I know my chat loves it when I do this. Uh I'm trying candles without any notches in my controller, so this will go well perfectly, right? Alright, we're gonna go ahead and uh, blast off in the cannon. Here we go. I'm not even gonna waste more time. I just nice. know it's not gonna work. <laughs> I don't even know. Is that good enough? All right, cool. If you didn't know, that's how you casually are supposed to do that. Oh, I just assumed Miyamoto wanted us to... To run out of wall and hope? Yeah, use the sock folder setup. Yeah. Well, I mean, back in the day, there was no setup. <laughs> that's true. You just hope and pray. I love that it's gone full circle, where now to do world record contention, you have to do setup lists again. Like, that's... We've, we've come all the way back around. We're like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, we did this already. I gotta remember what where we've been. Oh wait, did we do this already? I thought this so. is the touch. I thought so too, but that's not. 
I didn't send anything, so okay. We probably Oh, because I did I know why that didn't okay. I uh, we're there. I got it. I got it. Okay. Um so the reason why that button was still popped up, I think, I would assume, is because we we did the the old like press the button and get the star at the same time thing, so it didn't save that the button was pressed, although we have wing cap. Um, but the reason why we have wing cap is because of a check rather than the actual switch itself. So the so the switch is gonna stay up and act like we never actually um, pressed it, even though we did already. If that makes sense. <clears throat> I mean, it makes sense to me. So. Okay, so think of it this way: <laughs> it didn't work because of Archipelago. Imagine a bus. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad that tickled you, bird. I appreciate you on so many different levels. I hope you realize that. <laughs> Jokes aside, <laughs> what you bring to the table on the daily, I just don't know what I'm gonna get from you. And honestly, I always appreciate it. <laughs> That's probably the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. <laughs> You're all right. You know that. Thanks, bird. And thank you for having me on, on the show, by the way. Yeah. I know we've still got a decent amount of time left, uh, but also since we're getting close to Mario 64 being done, that's going to release a lot of things from Minecraft. So it could end relatively soon. Not super soon, but relatively soon. Um, I just want to say thank you. I appreciate you uh Thank you for taking out. the time. I know that it, you know, it, it takes time out of your day, and also you have to prep ahead of time. It's not. It's a non-zero amount of time. I, I appreciate it. Yeah, it was like five minutes, you know? That's a lot of time. Yeah. I could have uh, slept in five more minutes, actually. But, That's you know. a... That could, have been, that could have been the thing that changed the world. Yeah. How does it feel knowing that you ruined the world? I feel like I've done it a couple times. Okay. <laughs> Do you know why? Like, no. I, a, I just no? assume. I just assume. Okay. There's not like a specific thing that's like, okay, if I, you know, had a 93 on the spelling test, I probably would have... Stop climate change. I mean, I do feel like. Fun fact about me. Uh, okay. This is this is genuinely true. Uh, okay. In six, it was like fifth, seventh, and eighth, or like sixth, seventh, and eighth. Basically, I was in the spelling bee three times in like the like later years of elementary slash middle school, and I got okay. third place to the same two guys three times. <laughs> Is that like the first time you realize somebody is just like, just better? Yeah, the, I think that because yeah. up until that point, like I, I think I genuinely about a lot, not athleticism. I knew I was never like the strongest or the fastest or anything. I've seen you on a basketball court. You got coordination. Sure. It's but there. Like, I was never like goaded with the sauce as the children might say. Uh, but like academically, I was always like, yeah, I'm pretty goaded. <laughs> like when I was really young, I was like, oh, I'm, I don't have to study for anything. School's so easy. Turns out what was going on was I was just at a not very good school. Um, oh. But that was the first time where I was like, wait, I might, hang on. I think people are better than me. And the first time <laughs> I think I cried uh, because it was my fault. One of the times they didn't hear me correctly, even though I spelled it right. The other time, uh, I just genuinely did not spell the word. And then the third time when I got out, I was like, yeah, that's about right. <laughs> that's fair. So has academics in general always been like a exciting thing for you? Because I know a lot of people, also while we wait for the Koopa, I'm just going to go ahead and organize some items on Minecraft. Um, I know some people don't find it fun. Um, uh, is, is that a genuine fun thing for you? Or were you just kind of like, eh? I think aspects of it are really enjoyable, but, like, I don't enjoy homework. <laughs> but, no, yeah. but, like, I would say, like, the process of, like, learning in a school system or something like that. Like, like when were it's you excited well, to yeah. learn something? Yeah, okay. when, when it's when, when, when a teacher is good, I really enjoy learning, yeah. Okay. I, I, I would say I, I think learning is one of life's great pleasures. Okay. But, like, if the school is bad or the teaching is bad, no. Or if the subject yeah. is disinteresting. Or yeah. uninteresting, okay. rather. That's fair. I think for me, it was definitely like a, hey, like I guess sixth grade or seventh grade. I'm, I was just like, I'm not enjoying learning this stuff. Like it's good to have knowledge on it, but it's not fun to learn it. Well, also, so, but it's hard to have know. that perspective when you're 12. 
Yes, like you I can't was be twelve like, and be like, be like, it is good to know these things. It's like, no, I correct. I right. tutor middle schoolers in math, and the one question I always get is, when will I ever use this? And and that's exactly what I thought in school. Too. Yeah, it's what every twelve-year-old thinks, and it is hard yeah. to say like, you need this because I genuinely think that you do. Um, but even for most adults, I think it's hard for people to be like, when in my life do I use the Pythagorean theorem? And it's like, it's less about. First of all, you do use it, uh, but. Like, more literally speaking, I think it's really important to, like, hone those critical reasoning skills through math. And also, yeah. I think people do a lot more math in their brains than they think they do. Uh, yeah. Like, in general. Like, yeah, okay. Derivatives might not be that important. But you can't selectively teach people derivatives, and anyone that's doing any higher education has to have them. So, like... What are you gonna do? Like, <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. The math and science students need it. The med school students need it. Um, but yeah, I totally cut you off. But yeah, I think it's hard when you're 12 to have that perspective, and I think it's super fair to be like, this isn't very interesting. Yeah. I just, you know, I, I also agree that like, you know, if if it's a fun environment and a fun topic to learn, like I've been watching. I want to do a little plug here, but I've been watching your Pokemon videos oh and explain gosh. the science behind the Pokemon <laughs> and which Pokemon should learn Flash. Spoiler, it's like one or two or something like that. Um, but it's uh, it's super fun to learn about how light works because you're talking about it in a fun way, you know? Well, that's, th um, that's basically the whole... I'm, I'm very appreciative that it's working because that's really the whole premise is like... I, I, I want to do some amount of teaching or science communication to some extent, but in the traditional sense, like, traditional learning is cool, and it, for somebody like me, I respond well to it. Like, I respond well to a lecture setting. Yeah. But that's not good for most people. And yes. I, I want people to be thinking critically about science or to just, like, learn some cool stuff. Um, yeah. And I think the more things people know about the natural world and, like, the way that things work, or at least the way we understand that they work, uh, yeah. I think causes people to just think more critically in general and maybe think more critically about, like, you know, if an Instagram post is like, look at this trick shot, but you know something about physics, you might be like, that's not real. Uh, you know what I mean? Like... Mm -hmm. That's a bad example, but I, I right. want to give science away. Uh, yeah. And I think that video games are a unique way that I specifically can do it. Um, yeah. I agree. I mean, I think you've been killing it. And, you know, I'm going to just say it. I think people need to watch the channel for more for ADEP's content because it's good content. And you'll be like... Why would I want to know what Pokemon can fly? And then you watch it and you're like, I want to know everything now. I was, Please, I was, Mr. Man, tell me more. Well, I appreciate it. Uh, I was talking about this with somebody the other day. I was on the phone call. I was I was on the phone call. Um, <laughs> There's the uh, the age showing. I was I was on the phone with uh, a family member, and we were we were. You know, we were dooming a little bit, I'll be honest. We were talking about how things are a little rough on the world, in the world. And uh, yeah. I had a moment where I was like, well, on the other hand, like, there's been no single greater time to be alive in terms of, like, access to information. Like, the opposite is true also. Like, there's a lot of misinformation possible, but... Yeah. Like, the world is literally at your fingertips. And that can be overwhelming, but like, you know, like you were talking about with Fly, like I wanna know everything. I could decide tonight that streaming is not my thing anymore. Now my thing is dishwashers. And like by next week, I will be a genius on dishwashers. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, the yeah. Wikipedia page for dishwashers is written by like a god of dishwashers. <laughs> right, right. Uh, like you truly can just make anything your thing. Yeah. That's the fun thing, though, is, like, figuring out what you want to do. Or, or spreading the information, you know? Were there any topics in school that you did get excited about? I was a big math guy. Um, geometry threw me off. I was like, man, this is this is hard. Uh, like, I did really well in algebra. 
Geometry's Geometry is like a completely different thing, though. Yeah, but then I had the choice between pre-calculus and calc or statistics, and I went with statistics. And st statistics was super fun to learn as well because I'm a big sports guy, yeah, so yeah, I like yeah. knowing the probabilities of certain things. Um, so it was fun. And also my, my basketball coach taught uh, statistics, so it was an extra little bonus. Oh, that's cool. Uh, but it was, but that made me excited. I don't have vantage cap. What am I doing here? Um, that made me excited, though, to want to, like, go in and learn that stuff. You're right. Yeah. No, baseball is, like, there is no greater sport for stats. Like, yeah. there's just so many stats. There's, like, too many almost. <laughs> I would agree. But it's I'd good. Be, I'd be going to baseball games, and I'm looking for, like, you know, I'm looking for, like, OBP and, mm -hmm. like, the simple stats, right? Right. And instead, there's like an acronym I've never seen on the Jumbotron, and I have to Google it, and there's people who disagree what it is. Like, the... I'm like, guys, what is, what is going on? <laughs> What's happening? Yeah, I mean, I feel you on that. I'm, I'm with you. How the, how's the gaming going? Oh, by the way, yeah, we are playing a game here. I did forget about that. Um, this happens so often on this show. Which is great, honestly. Uh, like, I'm not. I'm, this is one of the most comfortable I've ever felt on a hotfix show. Oh, let's go! And I've, I've, I've done. I don't want to toot my own horn here, but I have done a fair amount of hotfix shows now. You know, I've been around the game for a long time, <laughs> and this is one of the most comfortable shows that I've been on. So thank you for inviting me into a comfy situation. Most of, when people come on this show and they're ner like, if it's their first time doing a hotfix thing or it's their first time being in front of a larger audience, they're like really nervous. I'm like, you have nothing to worry about. <laughs> yeah, it's like, we're gonna have a conversation. Just do your thing. And it's all most of the people do not complete their challenge on this show. Like <laughs> the vast majority of the time it is failed. Uh, gotcha. it's, it's people just doing hard stuff. Yeah. This, I mean, this still has a chance to fail, but I mean, we are looking really good right now. Four more stars on Mario and then we're done there. Minecraft, we just need like three random advancements and then we go for the, the end. Cause we do have 12 pearls now. So one more pearl drop would be really nice. Um, but at the end of the day, we just, we see what we get, right? It's a randomizer, figure it out. That tall, tall mountain entrance is like. Deep. Oh, it's stinky. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> it's a great level. Bad location. Progressive armor. Okay, I can make diamond armor, which, I mean, I'm already covered in. So not very helpful. <laughs> the text at the bottom of Mario is uh, basically whenever Bird sends or receives something from Minecraft or Mario. In Minecraft, it comes up in the text client at the bottom left, but in Mario, there is no text client. Uh, Correct. And so it just comes up in Mario text at the bottom left. Yes. Indeed. Also, the camera is zoomed out because, um, just because of the level location. We mentioned it earlier, but anyone who's new, um, it's thinking that I'm jumping out of Tall Tall Mountain for the camera, so it sets the camera there. But in actuality, we are jumping out of Cool Cool Mountains painting. And it's extra complicated because we have to go through... HMC to get there, which is in Cool Cool Mountain. So there's a lot of wires being crossed right now. It's very weird, but this is kind of how we have to do it for this one, unfortunately. I do have to remember, and here's a little pop quiz for you, and if you don't know, that's okay, because uh, we'll figure it out. Do you remember where Dire Dire Docks was? By chance. Uh, Was it one of the THI paintings? I'm pretty sure it was in the lobby. So in one of those first few areas. It could have been Womps. Okay. Or Snowman's oh. Land, I don't know. <gasps> nice save. save. Thanks. <laughs> so since we're so close to being done with Mario, I'm like, all right, let's just get the three stars. We'll finish the game and then hopefully release one more pearl check for Minecraft. And that would be fantastic. If not, it is what it is, I guess. Oh, it's but. not Snowman's Land, because Snowman's Land is HMC. You know, I've been paying so much attention. I believe that. Thanks. Yeah. It's okay if you just lie, too. It's, I'll, I'll deal with it afterwards, but I'll never tell. Okay, that's... I mean, I guess that's fair. 
wouldn't want you to ruin the surprise, I guess? Something somebody who was telling the truth would never say. <laughs> well then. Okay then, buddy. Okay. What, so, okay. Uh, un remind me. The, okay. uh, the eyes of Ender are made with an Ender Pearl and a Blaze Rod, correct? Uh, with Blaze Powder, yes. Blaze so, Powder. So, Blaze Rod, put that in crafting box. Yeah. Out comes Blaze Powder times two. Okay. Um, put Blaze Powder and Pearl in crafting box. Out comes Eye of Ender. We got the Tanish Cap, by the way. <laughs> another letter another letter that doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah, they just call it the Tanish Cap. Um, that's actually huge, though. We could do a couple checks with that. Um, find I Ender. Right click. Find Stronghold. Put I in Portal. Find Dragon. Heal Dragon. Regret. Regret? <laughs> Regret. Regret. <laughs> I feel sad because it's the last dragon, oh. supposedly. Yeah. I uh, mean, you can spawn another one, but yeah. Also, we uh, we could probably take our second break soonish. Okay. Um, let's grab one more star and get on to a break. How about that? Sounds good. All right. We'll do Mystery of the Monkey. That'll be a nice little short one. Um, but yeah, I think we can do it. I think we can finish this in time. I'm I'm going to give it a 77% chance that we finish this run in time. That's, those are good odds. Yeah. Oh. Okay. There it is. I'm going to give it a 76% chance now after those failed attempts. <laughs> so we grab Monkey. I mean, there's a, there's a trick to doing, uh, there's like a glitch version of this that... It lets you like hold on to the monkey, uh, but again, since I'm using a controller that doesn't have notches, um, usually I run this on N64. Uh, it's a little hard to get the precise angles for that, so we're just gonna not go with that and grab the star and go to a break. How about that? Yeah! Woo! Power star. Woo! Uh, all right, everybody. Uh, I, I I guess three, two, one, pause for the timer. There you go. <laughs> um, we are going to take a quick break, uh, and then we'll be right back. Do not go anywhere. There's more Challenger approaching coming up right after this. Hello, everyone, and welcome back I'm to I'm Challenger <laughs> Approaching. My name is Adef, uh, and Bird is here playing Minecraft and SM64, both randomized, swapping, sending stuff back and forth. Uh, go ahead, Bird, whenever you're ready. All right, we'll go right ahead. Three, two, one, here we go. All right, got one more star to get here. Two more stars in total, and we're done with Mario, which is pretty cool. And we just have to worry about Minecraft. Or as my good buddy Chrisom would say, mine and crafting. Unbelievable. 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 I love him. I hope you know that. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Still, just getting a, um, a random DM one day. <laughs> just being like, hey, bird. <laughs> uh, what's up with uh, all these people saying unbelievable all of a sudden, huh? <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to do the mystery uh, or the mysterious mountainside here, which is uh, involving we're going to go up, ride a slide down, survive the deadly slide, and get to this point right here to grab this star. Uh, and there we go. Cool. Here we go. So that's done. Um, don't have to worry about the slide. We just skipped that. It's pretty cool. Pretty fun. So we've got 69 stars now. We're hoping that we can get one more, and I'm hoping it's from Dire Dire Docks. Um... We have a couple of red coins that we could uh, get. I think uh, I think it might actually be in the basement, but okay, this is like dry world. I believe it, it might be in the basement. I saw someone, I think, in chat also mentioned that it might be in the basement. So hopefully it is in the basement. That would be really cool. Um, because that has a lot of checks we can do. So maybe... It is right in here. Beautiful. Leon. This is why you, you always trust chat no matter what. This is why you always don't write notes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, no joke. 
whenever I do randomizer, I usually have a tracker up. But when you start adding multiple windows, so I'm on a dual PC setup. I've got two monitors on the on the stream PC, but only one set up on the gaming one. And when you start playing three, four, five games, um, it it clogs space. So you just have to go off of your 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 brain rather than a tracker at a certain point. Well, Archipelago also it keeps track of like some things, kind of. Yeah, if you press start, it has uh, it has like a small little baby tracker on there of if you have caps or keys like this you see we have all three caps oh we do have all three caps that's right we did get the tannish cap earlier i forgot about that um so okay yeah we have all the caps we should be again we're one star from finishing mario which is great and then i'm hoping the release from mario will hopefully grant us the ability to like make a shield that would be great, helpful, and give us an advancement. Um, another emerald, or not emerald, but a pearl check would be fantastic. If we could find a way to uh, get to the stronghold with more pearls, that would be brilliant. I would love that. Actually, let's do this one first. Um, so it just kind of comes down to, to luck. We'll see what we get from the release. It's all about the placement of the items, right? So I think that's my favorite part too, about doing like a big community one is once somebody finishes and you see this pool of items released, you're like, oh, what did I get? What did I get? It's like Ocarina of Time. You have to cycle through all the items as they come up. Um, and then once you find out you get like 15 blue rupees, you're like, wow, that sucked. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, that was start number 70. So we now are in official go mode here um, for Mario, which is fantastic. We're going to exit course. We're going to go ahead and go upstairs. We're going to beat Bowser's butt. It's going to be great. It's going to be a fun time. Um, there's a couple that. checks in Sky, but there's no point in doing them because we're just going to release. Yeah, so if, if you're reading the, like, Archipelago tracker thing, uh, if you play at home, uh, when Bird releases, like he said, it's just going to be, like, a huge list of, like, this was released, this was released. And for, I do have that up as well if you want to see it. I could show it. I, I don't know if we have it up on the... I would just cover the, the oh, Minecraft, Minecraft section for yeah, a second yeah. if, if people wanted to see that. That's totally up to you, you know. I, you it's could. your show. You could. I, I just I just live in it, dude. It's your show. <laughs> it's a, It'll be silly, though, because it's going to be, what, like 60 or 70 checks will open? Uh, it'll be a fair amount. Maybe like 40 or something. You'll just see the, the spam from it, basically. Well, there's 50 stars. It's kind of interesting because oh, because it's... it doesn't show the ones that are within SM64, right? Correct. Right, right. And it's got one-up boxes, cannons, key, uh, key locations, cap switches, all that's also included in it. So it's like a total of 149 checks, I think, at the end of the day. But yeah. So we're gonna finish this, release the game. Um, I guess before I grab the final star, I'll just flash it up on, on the Minecraft screen, because why not? Uh, everyone could be like, whoa! And if nobody says whoa, then I'll be very disappointed in chat. But everyone's going to be excited. Nice. I just unlocked a memory. I know. <laughs> I don't know why I thought of that, but you I said mean, everybody no. say whoa, and I was like, hang on. <laughs> 2006 era YouTube is flowing through my mind. <laughs> All right, that is one. That is two. Look at these re grabs. Whoa. I'm looking at that. Boom! Wow, all right, and bird finishing Mario 64 in record time. Yeah! So there's the tracker, that's what it looks like. Um, and once I grab this, you'll see it just go whoosh. So, here we go. Hopefully, I don't know. Maybe we did too many checks. There you go! A lot of things just popped up. Stars, I jumped from 70 to 83 stars. Uh, lots of things just happened. So that's pretty cool. Um, while Mario goes and does his thing, we're going to go ahead and swap over to Minecraft. So I'm going to switch the audio now. Uh, we're going to switch games now. And I saw that I have the ability to make a shield, which is huge. That was one thing that I was uh, hoping for. Also, we did not get a pearl drop. So that's a little stinky. Not going to lie. Um, but 
We have time. We can we can look. We have technology, SpongeBob. <laughs> we can do the things. Um, I do need to have this at the ready because there should be. I hear a dude. So spawning in a place like this is really bad, actually, because it's just like a cave. It's, it's just not good. You want it wide open, Nether. So this is uh, definitely not ideal. But you're just gonna see me. Oh, hi. There you are. Okay, so oh, oh. I give you that. That should be, yep, that's a spyglass. It's pretty cool. Okay, so now I'm gonna attempt it. I mean, we have 15 gold, why not? We're gonna see if he can give us some pearls. If we get a lucky pearl drop here, that's huge. That's awesome. If not, we're just gonna cry and I'll lean on Adef's shoulder. It's fine. Oh, please don't work out. Was that, you said you wanted to work out? Yeah, I huh? hope so too. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Righteous, bro. Mario's about to get a kiss on the nose. Uh-oh. Pretty nuts. <laughs> Pretty nuts. It's a it's weird pretty... moment. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's do this. I'm going to keep the string for a bow. We're going to toss this stuff. <laughs> Please present me... Oh, soul speed boots. That's pretty cool. Present me some... Oh, obsidian. I want that. <laughs> Wait a second. Hold on. Trying obsidian. That's not ideal. Um. In the meantime, I'm going to just farm up some of these since we have a pickaxe to get this. Uh, these are things I've gotten through the, the randomizer, obviously. So we'll just get extra diamonds. You know, I can't make it. Wait, I actually don't know. I might be able to make a diamond. Uh, I think you're on. I didn't see what was released, obviously, but before the right. releasing, you were on iron, I think. Yeah, we're still there. So I just checked. I searched diamond. We only had armor available, so a little bad. I don't see a. Oh, every individual gold block he's trading with as well. That's huge. Okay. I see another obsidian. I kind of want that. But outside of that, this is kind of a little stinky. Oh kind my. of a little. Aggressive resource cra uh, crafting. Uh, let's drop the gold once more. And you know what? We're kind of just big chilling for a little bit while we hope that he drops us a pearl. Because if he drops us, uh, drops us a pearl, that's huge. We could just get out of here. Um, if he doesn't, we're going to kind of have to find a warped forest and farm. Because, I, I mean, theoretically, you could with 12, but it's not, it's not ideal. It's just not ideal. So we're looking for pearls. While we're, we're waiting for this, um, is he actually, I can't tell if he's actually giving stuff. He should be giving stuff. He's doing something. Yeah. I'm not seeing anything fly out. We might abandon ship. I think we abandon ship here. It's fine. We just move. Right. Autobots walk away. <laughs> All right. So because we're in kind of a, a little stinky area here, uh, it's not good at all, actually. Um, we might just have to dig and pray. How high up are we? We are 91. That's really high. So maybe we drop back down a little bit. But I don't think this is uh, this is going to be super good. Whenever you have to mine your way out of a nether situation, it's just it's not good. But, you know, at least I have my good friend Adef here to keep me company while I work away in the mines. Yeah, I'm really good at that. Okay. Um, <laughs> cool. What do yep, we, I agree. Do you like to eat? I can tell you what I ate tonight. I know what you ate tonight, but why don't you tell the people at home? I had salmon with some broccoli and rice. That's a good meal. It's a good meal. It's a good healthy meal. I made uh, I made 
<laughs> I made fettuccine alfredo with broccoli last night. Really? Yeah. That's pretty good. It was good. I was actually pretty pleased. Heck yeah. You can't really go wrong when you use an entire stick of butter and two cups of heavy cream, though. I'll be honest. You can't really mess it up at that point. Yeah, that's that's fair. Very simple, but very good. It was good. Did you yep. did you produce the uh, the meal this evening, or was did somebody else cook it? Um. So I prepped the salmon and got that all good to go, and Fu kind of overwatched everything and did Overwatch. And, yeah, Overwatch. Sorry. Are you an Overwatch person? No. Neither am I, so. I did play it at launch and I did like it, but uh Same. Then That was it. I just didn't I don't know what happened. I went back to CSGO. What can I say? Ah. CSGO. I was a big uh CSGO guy myself. Were you? Yeah. We should start a, a, a speedrun team. Okay. Okay. I'd be trash. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I'm not very good either. I'm down just for the little like ha ha he he's yeah. yeah i'm like i never got above like silver one so hmm. i don't think I, you really was... gotta worry about much okay that's fair i was a gold ak but sweet nice oh village actually huge okay guess what we can talk about the game again um thank god i have oh. nothing to say I was so nervous, too. I was freaking out. I was like, how's the weather in your room? I hate talking about anything other than video games. I'm so worthless. Right. Anyway, what's going on here? Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and make some bread, you know? Like bread? It's pretty cool. I do like, like bread. Boom. Progressive tools. We can make diamond tools. Actually, kind of huge. Not going to lie. Because we can do this. That's pretty neat. Uh, now we have a diamond pickaxe. Wow. There goes my sword. Didn't mean to throw that thing. Um... So this is a, a village in the nether. It looks really interesting. Uh, looks like, unfortunately, we lost an iron golem, but you know, it is what it is. Poor guy. Um, but now I'm gonna go ahead and basically toss some stuff that we don't need. We have the advancements that we need to go. So it's just about getting the pearls into eyes of Ender at this point. Um, so. The other thing I want to do here is I'm going to farm this village for beds because we're going to use this to kill a dragon, which is awesome. Um, how does that work? Well, you'll find out soon enough. I can just tell you now, actually. Um, <laughs> in the end, basically, if you sleep in the end or in the nether, the bed blows up. But there's a way to position yourself so you don't take damage, um, and that's pretty cool because then you can use the bed to blow up the dragon's head over and over again, and it just does a lot of damage over time. We have four beds right now. Um, I usually do it with like six or seven beds. I might just be safe and grab as many as I can. Um, also, for the sake of potentially getting pearls, I may go and try to... There was a pig that died there. Uh, I may go ahead and try to... That, that's a little man. Um, that's a little man. To... I was a very little man. Um, I might go ahead and try to give a villager a job and potentially... What the heck? What is that? What is happening? What is it doing? <laughs> Stop, please. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> um, anyway, we're trying to do another advancement for pearl drops by chance. Like, just... Give it a chance, give it a little chance. Um, if we get a pearl drop, that'd be dope. So, you know, if I put this here, you become cleric, we trade, pearl drop. I sent a power star, you're useless to me. Dang it. That's okay. That was ridiculous. I've never seen that happen with a, uh, with a pig. Okay, so we have, we have a handful of beds. Three, four, five, six, seven. I could always craft more beds, that's fine. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is we need pearls. We still need pearls. We have 12. I'm going to turn these all into Eyes of Ender now. So we have 12 Eyes of Ender. Uh, that is the maximum amount we would need for a pearl, or for uh, an end portal. Um, at the end of the day, you just need to uh, fill the portal with Eyes of Ender, and then you can transform into the end, and then you're good to go. Uh, and uh, right now we're lacking a little bit of pearls. 
because when you throw them, there's a chance that they break. And that's never ideal. It's not a good situation to be in, so. Um, we do have way more than enough beds now. We're overkill, so. It kind of comes down to, do I want to try to find a warped forest if possible, or do I just wing it for the stronghold and try to hopefully have enough pearls on 12? Like 12 is very not ideal. 14 is okay. So if we can get like two more pearls, that'd be great. It's uh, it's just a little risky, right? It's it's making those, those game time decisions of like, do I just go for it or not? Um, so we'll see. I'll make a decision here shortly. I also really love this music. I think in Minecraft they added this for um, for the the Nether itself, and it's just really good. Unironically, a banging soundtrack. I mean, even in the early days, it went pretty hard. Yeah. But now they've added like so many extra things. It's just it's really good. All right. So what I'm doing right now, for safety reasons, I'm making a shield. Got to put down the crafting table. Hopefully this guy doesn't hit me in my face. He's hitting me in my face. It's okay. I'm inevitable. It's okay. All right. <laughs> I'm inevitable. <laughs> are you are you quoting Thanos? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> it's okay. I'm inevitable. That is so funny. <laughs> I mean, I don't that know is, what else you want me to say there, man. It's just, saying, you know. Saying it so casually <laughs> is so funny to me. You just got to be confident in what you're doing at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Just gotta, that's okay. I'm inevitable. Yeah, it's fine. It's we just. We it's just like such there. a weird thing that no one would ever say. <laughs> right? <laughs> a very psychopathic thing to say out loud. <laughs> it's, it's, it's okay. I'm inevitable. <laughs> they won't stop me. Okay, so I think what I will do is I'll probably, since this is a really bad nether, I'm going to cook. This will take some time. But I'm cooking. Actually, there's lava here. I'm going to death warp out of here. At some point, we will die. <laughs> don't worry. I'm inevitable. <laughs> don't, don't worry. That has the same energy as... Uh... I was playing this, like... I have some comedian friends here in Los Angeles, uh, and hanging out with them is understandably always a delight. Um, yes. And uh, <laughs> we were playing this, like, billiards game that they invented, and, ooh, he's just winging it with the, the eyes. Let's go. And it broke. First try. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Huge. <laughs> um, <laughs> And this guy was about to take his turn and he'd just been like talking pretty normally all night. And then he just goes, please let me cook. And then just shot and it, I swear to God, I pissed myself. It's <laughs> the funniest thing I've ever heard. Oh, that's actually hilarious. <laughs> please let me cook. It just reminds me of, um, oh man. You, you know of Skittles commercials? I, I mean, I'm, I'm familiar. The like taste the rainbow. Yeah, do you just remember uh, get ready for my sweetness? <laughs> <laughs> it just reminds me of that. Get ready for my sweetness. Ooh. <laughs> All right, we're going to make a bed, or not a bed, we're going to make a boat. And we're just winging it at this point. You know what? I, at some point, you got to make a move, right? And this is our move. We're going to attempt to cook with uh, with finding the stronghold, hoping there's a, like an ender pearl in it. That would be really cool. Um, also, there's an advancement for this. You're gonna hear a loud sound. Here we go. That wasn't as loud as I thought, but now the ender dragon has awoken. So the ender dragon doesn't actually spawn until you get those 40 advancements. Um, so if you were to like, for example, go to the end on 35 advancements or whatever else, uh, there's no dragon there. So you'd just be kind of chilling, but then you could go to the end. like. The portals are still available. You don't have to kill the dragon in this version um, to get to the end because they want to allow for accessibility in case you have to go to the end on higher advancement requirements. Um, so if you're doing like a 70 advancement uh, like requirement, which I know a buddy of mine, Bowser, he was doing one the other day or a few days back. 
uh, with like 70 advancements and dragon shards. And that's like things that you have to kind of just go to the end pre-dragon fight and do things there and then come back afterwards. Bird, just trust you're going to get to the stronghold and that advancement is going to give you pearls. Yeah, actually, that could be it. That would be dope. You know, for content, I'm down for that. Yeah. So you, you're you basically just heading in the general direction. Yes. Like, how many chunks are you aiming to go? A lot. <laughs> so, like, in my... Now, I don't know the exact numbers. Someone in chat will probably be able to correct me, and if so, please do. That's fine. Uh, but usually when I used to do runs, and it still holds true today for the most part, you kind of want to be, like, 15 to 2K blocks away from uh, from zero zero um in general in like a certain direction so like if you were to like i'll probably travel this direction and i won't throw another pearl until i'm at like negative a thousand to like negative 1200 500 or something that would be like a pretty decent um bot to throw another pearl i would say and then you're looking for a specific chunk uh, there's a thing we do with with F3 and G to load the chunks like this. You can then see all the chunk borders. Uh, there's a very specific thing you can do. That's two of these, by the way, these guardian things. I was going to go explore that, but I don't want to get near that. Um, but basically, you can open up these chunk walls, these chunk borders. And at this point, um, once you find where the pearl drops down, like if it goes beneath the ground in a chunk, you're no, you know you're at the spawn point of that um, like the spawn staircase of the stronghold and you want to aim for a specific block it's usually whatever corner it's in it would be like uh if i open up f3 here and you see the blocks that are counting up or counting down i guess there's uh next to the block tab there i know there's a lot of numbers but right now this is block number negative 8 14 16 18 it's going up uh, on the far right there you'll see numbers and they kind of pertain to specific blocks in the chunk and you, you would want to dig down on, like, four, whatever height, and then four again. Uh, that's one of the corners it could be in. Um, so you want to just see which which area it goes down in the chunk. You dig down a certain way. Ideally, you find the stronghold. You plop right into it if you do it correctly. Um, and then you try to find the, uh, the end portal, which can be a little tricky. It's usually not super far away from the spawn, but it's just... It's a, it's a maze. It's annoying to try to find. Right. I don't know if there's any other like harder strategies to implement to be like, oh yeah, by the way, you do this and it's here. I just know it's like, it should be in the general direction of a thing. Um, so at this point, we're, we're I'm going to throw a pearl now. We've kind of gone a decent distance. And it did change angle slightly. Please don't break. Okay, thank you. There is a god. What are, what are um, the odds on the breakage? I think it's 30% chance to break. I think. It's so not terrible. I don't know. Not terrible. I think that's correct. Someone I can look it up. would correct me. But I, I, I think it's a 30% chance. So we are now... I has a 20% chance of shattering. 20? Okay. Is that Java edition? That's a great question. Hey, another one broke. Let's go. I didn't want to finish this run anyway today. Sweet. <laughs> Heck yeah. That's awesome. Ooh, ooh. Do not point me in the direction of this guardian spot, please. Oh, this is still going forward. I'm kind of shocked. See if I can see anything down here. Sometimes you'll see it sticking out if it's deep enough, but I personally don't like when it's in the open ocean. It's easy travel, but it's so weird to try to figure out how to dig down safely. It's not the most fun. It's still going forward. This is kind of nuts. Okay, I mean, there's still a chance. If, if there's 
I usually don't get more than two in the portal, but maybe we are blessed today. You will be we'll blessed. See. I hope so. Otherwise, I, I shall crumble like many others in the past. But at the end of the day, I also have a diamond pickaxe now, which is kind of huge. We can make our own portals very easily. Oh, passed it. That's a good sign. All right, so... So when we want to start looking through our chunks here, I really don't want to throw another one. But I might have to. Where? Did that go down? That's huge if it went down. It did go down. Okay, this is huge. All right, so now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to dig. I'm going to prep for... A digging area here because this is just very annoying with the water i don't have a door ideally you have a door and you could put it down underwater and you're good to go but um i don't have that for me right now so we're gonna do this gonna do, i think i gotta go one more deeper okay now we do this 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 and then we could do this Go one more deeper here. And I think he just goes this. This. Okay. So this not this might not be directly where we're supposed to be, but I am gonna uh oh. I am gonna flood myself again, so that's cool. Alright. Um, let me go a little bit deeper here. It's gonna be a little dark for a second. I apologize, but we are just in the caves. Uh let's do this. I'm gonna put a bed here for safety. Okay, we can now respawn there. So we're just going to dig down. If we die, it's not the worst thing. It's whatever. Actually having 10 eyes, I have hope because there is chance. Uh, oh, well, here we are. Um, we got enchanting, which is not ideal right now, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so I heard lava, but it's this. So let me get rid of this because that's going to bait me. Basically, we're looking for a room that has lava. Um and a portal, you'll be able to tell very easily. Um, it's, I won't lie, it's kind of hard for me to find these sometimes. Um, I don't know how far out from the spawn of the, uh, of the stronghold itself that it can go. But I still like to try it. Okay, please. <sighs> these chests are important to find because if they can have uh, pearls in them, which is really, really nice. If I can just... Okay, cool. Yeah. Wait, I hear an Enderman. You're saying there's a chance? Hold on. Also, I don't need this. Uh, where is my... I left my boat. Sweet. All right. It's fine. I did hear an Enderman. So an Enderman is an enemy, for those that don't know, um, that if you look at it, it gets really upset and it tries to hit you a bunch. Uh, it's, it's not really... Uh, not a friendly... Oh, I mean, he's honestly passive, unless you stare at him. Um, but he drops Ender Pearls. He has a chance to drop those. I don't know what the percent chance is on Archipelago, if they are boosted or not. I don't think they are. Um, but um, if we do happen to find one, that would be fantastic, because we can potentially get a Pearl, which would be great. Um, that's the plan. That's the play. We'll see if it works out. Probably not. This goes to nowhere. So these are like a maze in itself, which is super fun. Sometimes there's a hidden room off on the side of these. Can I come up through this way? Yeah. What is this way? Nothing. Cool. Sweet. Love it. Hidden room? No. No. Okay, we go back this way. So this is just going to be a lot of like trial and error, just kind of searching around, trying to find it. Eventually we will find it. And then we either have really good news and we beat the game, or we have really bad news and we figure out from there. So, um, fun fact, uh, still no pearls from the chests. And we opened up three. It's really bad. Oh, here it is. Okay. So this is the moment of truth right here. It's going to be five. It's, <laughs> we are one short. <laughs> Great. Awesome. So, um, so I hate this. <laughs> 
This is bad, but we 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 can we can fix this. There's a there's a chance. There's a chance. First off, we sleep off the stress, okay? You sleep off the stress, everything's fine. Now, we cry a little bit, but that's okay. Um, and then we're going to do this. All right, we do this. Uh, we do have some obsidian, which is pretty awesome. I'm just going to my I'm going to play it safe and just mine out everything here. Just make it easy cuz I I'm going to do it that way. Um, let's do... We're going to mine out the obsidian. Very unlucky that we had only one eye in there. But, like I... I, I mean, I prepped everything for this. I was like, hey, knowing my luck, we'll probably only have one eye or zero. So, a little unfortunate, but that's okay. So, we're just going to make our own portal real quick. Um, I could have done, like, a strategy with, like, having the water dripping from above and then putting lava buckets on, but... Since we have the diamond pickaxe, it's like, why not just do it this way? Make sure you don't screw it up and do all the things. So, do this. We're almost done with that. Do a little bit of this. It definitely could be worse. But you know what that means? We get a little bit more time with ADEF. Isn't that right, ADEF? We just get to have some good fun time Woo! together. <laughs> like, uh, hopefully, we just find an Enderman really quick. We just need to find one, drop a pearl... That'd be ideal. Uh, and if it if it doesn't work out, then you know what? We had a good time. We did. But it just it just comes down to this. We've got 14 minutes to beat the game. That's def definitely doable. We're just gonna go ham in the uh, in the nether because we're gonna be at a different spot now, and uh, we just gotta hope. That's what it comes down to. Just hope. I do want to... Actually, I do have Crying Obsidian, right? Yeah, I do. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, let's grab this. And um, let's hope we're in a warp forest. Good luck. Here we go. Green forest. It's red. Okay. Cool. Wait. <gasps> Hold on a second. There is a shred of green there. <laughs> I have hope. Can't go up. Okay, we might just go over there and dig over. Hmm, this is going to be interesting. All right, let's do this. Do this. That gas. Do you know what the sound of a gas is, by the way? That thing that makes that weird noise? Yeah, I know the uh, th like where it comes from. Like, yeah, where the sound bite is, is from? No, I don't know the source. Uh, it's from... Uh, a cat. That can't it, be right. It's from a different... Oh, hi. How are you doing? Uh, it's a different pitched cat, apparently. Huh. Yeah. Hey, bud. Can you... Can you just... Can you just... I'm tired. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I have to build up. <laughs> oh! Okay. We're good. Okay, so there was green here so that means there there's a potential warp forest in this and the the ambient sounds have shifted to where i'm in a warp forest right now so it kind of comes down to can i dig out an area that opens up and gets me a warp forest That I don't know. We're gonna find out. I believe. Oh. Okay. Okay. It, the belief worked. All right. I believe. Okay. There's a there's a little guy. I there's believe. Guy. You know what? I <laughs> I believe that. I believe that we will win. I believe that we will win. I believe that we will win. All right. He didn't drop one. That's okay. Find another one. this I forgot I have like mostly diamond armor so I'm not even I'm just gonna skip the setup to make it safe I'm just gonna fight any enderman there's one okay so I'm gonna look at him in the face he's gonna get upset he's gonna run around he's now eyeing me down he's burning that's great where okay he's still on fire uh, great news he didn't drop a pearl as well he dropped that block, though. That's crush. Yeah. 
<laughs> Definitely. We can put that down somewhere, and it's pretty cool. Um, Enderman. There you go. All right, you come down. Come on down, buddy. Your turn. You're not dying? Okay. Where'd you go? You pooped? He died over here? What? How do you... What, what is happening right now? <laughs> he died from a fall. I'm assuming... He, well, here's his dead body. He didn't drop a pearl again, so that's cool. I hear more footsteps. Okay. Okay. Hi, buddy. This guy's got the schmooze. There we go. Let's All go. Right. Pearl gets. Put this here. Put this here. That's the last eye we need. Now you want to take a tumble. Kill. Yeah, we just go ahead and die and then kill Dragon. This is huge. It's happening. It's happening, dude. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> That's what it in the world. Unbelievable. <laughs> what is happening right now? <laughs> Fortnite. Oh, <laughs> All right, we're good. Okay, so now let me prep uh, the last things that we need. Okay, so bed, 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 bed. Uh, this goes here. Uh, bed, bed, bed. Uh, actually, we need these. Uh, that goes there for now. Okay, I go here. We're in. Okay, so now we go uppies. Oh, this is really cutting it close, isn't it? Okay. Nah, you got, um, you got eight minutes. Wow, I was really cutting it close. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do F3B. That shows the hitboxes. We're going to try to blow up the bed on the dragon's head. Um, and the dragon's head is not the actual size of the head. It's very weird. Uh, it's actually... Um, let me set this up real quick. Sorry. Um, let's do this. Okay, perfect. And then we'll do this. This here. That's good. Um, that tiny little square right there. That's the actual hitbox for the head for the crit hits and stuff. So not the giant square. We want to hit it when that little square is over the, uh, uh, the, like, pillow of the bed. Um, and you'll kind of see how, how it works. Once the dragon starts to perch, there'll, there'll be a certain animation that happens. And then I'm just going to, like, quiet down for a second to focus, make sure I don't screw this up, because if I do, we're not finishing it in eight minutes. Um, and then hopefully we beat the dragon, and then I'll call out time. Okay, it's starting to perch now, so I'm going to focus real quick. Yeah! All right, time going to come up here in a second. And... Hi. GG, dude. Sick. We stuck it in there. We stuck <laughs> it in there, baby. The QB oh. sneak at the last minute. <laughs> right? Uh, if only the Niners could do that. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, GG on the Super Bowl, by the way. <laughs> oh, yeah, GG, by the way. Congrats. I forgot. <laughs> um, sick, dude. Sick. Congrats. Guys, you got to follow Bird on Twitch. It's the pinned comment right now in the chat. You got to follow Bird. One of the One of the most delightful streamers out there. You will not regret it. Uh, currently playing a lot of uh, SM64, a lot of Archipelago, and also doing a cool N64 uh, marathon type deal where he's playing a bunch of N64 classics. It's a good time. Uh, and gamers, that is going to do it for Challenger Approaching, but not for the evening because our very own Ekdysis will be uh, showing off speedruns uh, from the crypt right after this, one of, uh, one of Hotfix's absolute staples. Uh, so we're going to be seeing some horror speed running in uh, just a little bit here. I think Silent Hill 2, potentially. Bird, any final thoughts? Um, thanks again for having me on the show. It's always fun to be on a Hotfix show. Super good vibes. Um, Archipelago is super fun. Check it out, everyone. Just go to archipelago.gg and find a game that you enjoy. Uh, and make sure you check out ADEF's YouTube channel for the, the mind-blowing fun facts about Pokemon because they're very entertaining, and I enjoy watching them when they come out. That's Thank all I got, bud. All right, guys. Yes, of course. Everybody in Twitch chat. Thank you for watching. We will see you next time. Stick around for speedruns from the crypt. We'll be right back with more hotfix.